Hello. Rainy Washington. Let's get our get our ads going here. That sounds terrible. You know, I know you guys hate the ads, but it makes me uh, real. You feel better that I know that I'm on the whole thing. Like you guys have to watch the ads. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> so maybe they're on the other end. Like, yeah. What? Huh? <laughs> it's alright. I can't even see it. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, ads. Wait a minute. Hold up. Watch the ads now. Hold up. Wait a minute. He only did that one time. Hold up. Wait a minute. No, he does all sorts of those videos. Doesn't he? Yeah. A black guy? Is he black? Is he black? Wait, no, yes, yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Oh jeez. Oh, I better go live. There. Okay, now I'm caught up. I think. Aha, right. uh -huh. we're here. All right. How is everything? Good evening and welcome. Okay. <clears throat> I think we're good now. Okay. We're here. <laughs> welcome. Can you hear anything? Nope. Hello. This thing on. Hello. Tap tap tap. Testing one two. Testies. Testies three four five six. Some guys only have one. That's an order. Huh? That's an order. Six testes. That's one three guys. Maybe what? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how that works. <laughs> That's a math that I have not gotten into. <laughs> <laughs> That's a math that I've I never thought you. about. <clears throat> Loud and clear. Awesome. Good. Called across said can hear. Good. I mean, that's always positive. I assume that wasn't a typo that said he couldn't hear. But. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get a laptop. Good, Good evening, Janice. I gotta really, really start buckling down to get some things to make this okay. place better. I can't get my wording to come up. There it is. Wording? Uh huh. Okay. Good. Another Sorry. one. Oh, I Dang. should have played baseball or basketball. <laughs> Sports because ball. you made two. Yeah, exactly. Two for two, man. I'm two. literally 100 percent right now. Okay. Ah, all right. All right. So anyway, to continue our conversation Can from you, yes. before. Yes. Yeah, so oh, what's this one? Include, oh, I need that. Include others. Oh. <laughs> Good sure. thing the basketball wasn't looking there. Good thing I didn't chuck it in the right. Yeah, good thing. Can. Put it in a tire. Only chuck your own things in the trash can, okay? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Sorry. Anyway, we were discussing servos, and then we stopped because we realized that we should discuss this on it the. It would live. make more sense to talk to you guys about yes. it. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. So anyway, we were discussing speed and strength of servos, mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. Whether or not speed really plays a, a factor in the kind of stuff that we do. Right. Comp trucks, 100%, obviously. However, I got by yesterday for sure. Would you feel like you got by? Um, yes. Right. And I was okay with it because of the nature of the beast. Right. Mm -hmm. I would agree uh, with that. Any other truck... Literally any other truck, I would have pulled that out yeah. when I got home. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Because uh, <clears throat> we were discussing that, actually, as we were driving them. Like, wow, these things steer terribly. <laughs> well, not even terribly, just really, really, really slow. Well, I am using my very serious voice. Yes. <laughs> or it's my sinus infection. Welcome back. I went to the doctor seat. today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you say? Are you still gay? She oh, okay. She. Uh, said it was nice to meet you. That was the first time I'd ever seen her. Oh. I was like, what? It was a new doctor. <laughs> I was so confused. Uh, but yeah, she said sinus infection. Um, supposed, supposed sinus infection. I just keep keep doing what I'm doing. They gave me a Z-pack. Z oh, nice. I, need one of those. I feel like I've got a sinus infection still. <clears throat> Jim's hobby has joined us. Bob's RC. Hello. Ty Joe. He's hello. Heard, he's heard better. Uh, mm -hmm. William Chandler. Hello. So the wall bass has not moved. It's <laughs> not moved since we've been down here. Uh, where Matt set the camera up may have changed a little bit. What are you guys seeing? I mean, you only have like half of the front of the F-Toy. Oh. 
Well, but I got. I'll just move it closer. Let's see if that will help. <laughs> what? Jim says, "Does blind guy hear better than most because of his vision <laughs> is poor?" I mean, it's possible. He's oh, now we just lost most of the up toy. You can pull it back. Just rotate it that way a little bit. See, on my screen, I literally have you on one side, Jordan on the other. What is going on? <laughs> Which, yeah, that's what you have, but, I mean, no. you lose this whole... No, like, Jordan, you are literally my whole side of my screen. This is weird. I don't know what it's doing. It's, it's fine. Well, pull, pull back a hair. Pull back a hair. All right, cool. There we go. No, it must be the angle, because I can still see that. I wonder if we do something like this. Is that how it is normally? No, I still no. see the wall bass. I mean, the wall bass is always there, but it like it was. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I was gonna say I liked it better before. Are we all? Sorry, I was gonna say you can face it more that way and get me. Just like like part of me. I don't need to show all me pull out. It's not all you. There we go. That's fine. I don't care anymore. Yes, figured out or not. Well, I, I mean, right where, oh. <laughs> Say right, right where it was <laughs> when it finally adjusted was, I think, where it normally is. Yeah. Um, okay. Which is, yes, perfect. We're good. We're good. Yeah, there. Say it looks good. I'm okay with it. He says make like a nervous teenager and pull out. Yeah. I, I just feel like when we're so far away, they, I don't know, I just feel really far away. I don't want to do that. Blind guy uses like, echolocation? Like a whale. Yeah. <laughs> like fucking Dory. Like Dory. <laughs> <laughs> like how you knew exactly what I was. Hello. Dear God. Hello. <laughs> I didn't know I spoke well. Anyway. Wait, <laughs> you didn't want? That shit's following. Right. So the. Yes, sir. Triple five mm -hmm. speed is 0.17. Okay. Okay. Whereas the G13 is 0.1. Okay. Oh man, that really and it is. that up a lot. It does. Does so it go the other way? Turn it on the other side? Technically, no, this is for F9s. So if you put it on this way, it uh, doesn't really fit all that well either. It turns it down. It yeah. faces it down. Turn down for what? Completely. Right. <clears throat> and but I was told this, so they're not right. That's what you're getting at. Well, he said these are for F9s, <laughs> and he said I could drill a new hole if I wanted to figure it all out. But personally, I really wanted just to get the axle on, so I may put it where it has a terrible pinion angle, mm -hmm. but it's up, and then I will uh, figure that out later. Drill your own hole. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably just. I'll move it that way. It kicks it way down, even when it's this way, and then I'll have to like figure out how to slot the hole or something. You know, blind guy. He says, "Sure do." He says, "Also, smell things better. Not always a great thing." My wife and I were <laughs> out once, and we were walking around our local mall. I laughed and said, "Some ship themselves." It's like someone's ship themselves. Okay. <laughs> blind guy finds submarine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was he the one that located the the billionaires? Oh, God. It's that echo location he had. Wow. Did you find the Titanic people? Fallen says, hello. What's it? Jake What's Sayers up? says, Matt just wants to be closer to his viewers. Yes, 100%. <laughs> okay, so this doesn't line up at all, actually. Flying guy says, sure enough, a dude was crying in the stairwell, saying he should himself. <laughs> had to buy all new pants and everything. Wow. <laughs> that is a lot of wow. <laughs> oh, that's what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That is something, that is for sure. Uh, Jem says, if you knew what he had eaten, though, blind guy, I'd be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> That's really narrowing it down. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, do you have your uh, I smell seven layers. Wrenches? That'd be Ricky's Taco Bell. My what? My seven layer wrenches? No, hey, you're standard. Uh, he wrenches. has them right here. He's got one. I don't have the little one. It's in there. Do you need the little I'll one? I'll use it later. Later. Later on. Actually, yes, I'm probably going to. Okay. Opinion. Opinion. Do we leave? This is going on Bad Boy. Because I'm using the golds on Beamstruck. Uh huh. So. 
Do I use black rings or do I change it over? Blue? Let's let's ask the people as well. Oh yeah, we could do that. So I'm changing my methods on my little Suzuki. So I want to go bronze wheel with black ring or bronze wheel with a red ring. Red, red ring. Red rover. Red rover. Send bad boy on over. So what do you guys think? What? I was finishing the. Oh. Are you sending someone over? Maybe. Oh boy. Sounds sounds crazy. Exciting. Exciting. One thing I do like about these though is uh, how far forward they set the leaves, which means the axles back, so it gives me a little more wheelbase without actually moving anything. You know? Yeah. I do like that part. Pet B said you got the poo on him. <laughs> I got the poo <laughs> on me. <laughs> Reminds me of a time when I was younger, when we were at my buddy's house, and uh, we put his little brother in a barrel, <clears throat> and we were rolling him down a hill, and it was fine as long as you aimed him correctly. But but they had a small backup of their septic system in like this little part of the yard, oh, no. and he made a real hard right turn <laughs> and rolled down the barrel right into the poop. And then he goes, I got the poo on me. <laughs> That's bad. It was really funny. Thank you. And after some things happened, he deserved it. Maybe that's why some things happened. I don't know. Because he says red. Tydro says bronze and red is different. Digs it. Big Ed said probably go red just for something different. Different. Eric Gambler, hello. Hi, fella. So I might as well just do all the rings first then. Hmm. Hmm. Genius. Genius. I have an idea. Oh, God. Is it a good one? I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> I know this doesn't fit for shit. I know that much. Okay, so... Pete let's... says his hero Joe is in here. Is he? It, Joe is he? No. Oh. I'm confused. So there was somebody that... that I kind of noticed that. What? Is there another Joe? What are we talking about? There is a... Where was it? Yeah, Evans. Oh, Evans. oh Joe Evans? Yep. Evans. Nice. Hi there, fella. <laughs> Don't you worry about what's going on in your mom's bedroom, Joe. <laughs> sorry I missed you. I didn't realize you were in here, Joe. I mean, we're not, like, really sorry, but we have to say that we are. It gives you the warm and fuzzy effect. Makes you feel better. We feel better. So I thought I recognized the name, but I thought his... Who, or who is that first, I guess? Uh, a friend of ours. Yeah. Uh, he does Ford things. He's not really all that yeah, cool. He's a mechanic. Ford things. He's a mechanic okay. over at Community. Yeah. Community? Like the hospital? No, Community oh. Ford. Oh, okay. 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 We'll just blow him up like that, I guess. Just tell everybody where he works. <laughs> You're the one yeah. <laughs> everybody else that's <laughs> not here. <Yeah. clears throat> anyway. Anyway, I thought his, name, his last name was... Urban. I thought there was an R in there. I'm not even sure if Ivans or Ivans or whatever. I don't know. I've never asked him how you pronounce his last name. It doesn't matter, and I bet the other 34 people in here don't care. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Um, Welcome. Hi, me, Nick, Cat, and Nigel. Got to the shit show. Yep. Yeah. Um, you are now welcome to one of the most unprofessional <laughs> YouTube lives uh, ever, basically. So, um, but anyway, so we got we got a little plus thirty here. Uh, what did everyone have for dinner? That is the most important question of the evening. Chili. Yeah, we had Jordan's homemade chili. Whoa! What? What happened? I think he just called his wife a hoe. Oh, I thought Jordan made it. I thought you made it. No. Oh, never mind. Sorry. No, Haley makes the chili. <laughs> oh, my bad. I didn't mean that. Um, Haley made. Yeah. Not homemade. Haley made chili. <laughs> that was my bad. I'm sorry. Home. Homemade. Homemade. Home. homemade. Yes, yes, yes. I thought you made it. That's why I said it like that. No. I would never say that about my friend Haley. You, for sure, but not Haley. Is that yours? Uh, no. Uh, Jake uh, had yeah, ham, maybe. mac and cheese, and mashed potatoes. Jake had what? Ham, mac and cheese, and mashed potatoes. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. Jake gotcha. eggs had chicken alfredo. Ooh. Scott Griffin had cheddar brats. 
you have a see, I, mm. I, I don't care for any brats or hot dogs that have cheese in them. What? The cheese what? just doesn't taste the same. Mm. You are You're definitely. You want me to leave now? Am yeah, I, I was gonna say. You well, excuse no, You're trying. <laughs> You're fine. treading on you, thin water. You can sir. stay. It's Damn fine. it. <laughs> thin ice. I mean, not water. Thin water. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, Al Castro says nothing yet. He's trying to figure that out. Ah. Okay. okay. Um, William Chandler had honey barbecue chicken strips. Again? Oh, did he have it last time? I think so. Isn't Line that what he had last time? One guy had burritos and Caesar salad. Ooh. Pete nice. had Chick fil A. I get down with all that. Uh, Caesar had New York strip and baby potatoes. Damn he finally so. went to the store. I feel like Blind Guy really likes Caesar salad. Yeah. I... Caesar. Caesar salad. Se- yeah, he yeah. <laughs> No, it's Azer. Caesar salad. Caesar. A. Because he's from the Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you know? Yeah. 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 Don't you know? <laughs> uh, Call the Call had a late lunch with chili. Or he said he also ate lunch with chili. Uh, lunch with chili? William or said that was a week ago. Chili for lunch. It was a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> Just happened to be last yeah. Monday. It was in the rotation to come around yeah. again. Yeah, what does it say? Uh, Eric Gampler is having biscuits and gravy, so breakfast for dinner. Man, I'm hey, I've done that. Dick. He's not sure for sure. <laughs> <laughs> not forgot them. What the hell? I don't know, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. But this is this is not not doing the thing I needed to do, that's for sure. Oh uh, Side Joe had Red Baron pizza with a bunch of added meat from a broken pizza. Gotta love food pantry pizzas. Heck yeah. I just like frozen pizzas anyway. Yeah, but I do like the uh, thought of buying a broken pizza for parts. Just for parts. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it. Hey you gonna part that pizza? <laughs> Oops, I dropped it. You're going to part that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no title, just for parts. Yep. I saw a thing on uh, I Know What I Have, I believe was the group. And a guy was complaining because a guy had listed a uh, ZJ, no title, parts only. And he asked how much for it whole. And the guy said, there's no title, four parts only. And he got upset enough that he actually made a post and everybody was just... Giving it to him about how he was an entitled little bitch. And <laughs> the guy clearly said, four parts only, no title. So, like, why are you asking questions and why are you asking dumb questions? I mean, if the guy wants to buy uh, yeah, how is that a dumb parts. question, though? Yeah. Because if I say it's not available, don't ask questions. It's the same thing. I didn't see nothing. I didn't hear anything. You don't know why it's no title. That's fine. But if, I, I but if it makes more financial sense for me to buy the whole damn thing from you. But... That guy was parting it out clearly. He said four parts only. Message me what you want. So I want not, the whole damn thing. Well, too bad. I want all the parts. I want to make more money than you're going to pay for it whole, almost guaranteed. That was that was my thought and my point. Mostly because <clears throat> I've had people ask me about stupid questions like that. Why can't I get a title for that Chevelle? Is it stolen? No, but it's worth five times more in parts than what it is whole. And I like to make money. That's why. Bitch. I got rid of all the rest of my Jeep parts last week. Oh, nice. That's good for you. I still have Chevelle parts in my garage that I haven't parted out of Chevelle in probably five say, years. I haven't seen you with a Chevelle. Anymore. I don't think I've parted one out in uh, since, well, since I started my job, pretty much. Because I used to have to do it for, like, you know, side money and stuff. But Paul says, blind guy uses the echo location to find the sardines for his sauce. <laughs> That is a, that is such a thought joke. I like it, but I don't know that that's gonna be a uh, a well received joke just because it takes a lot of. Ty Joe says, "Yup, the parts pizza, parts pizza." Calder Draw says, "Project Central here in the shop, <clears throat> uh, welding up another paint shelf and assembling some little parking lot lights. What you's working on tonight?" Yeah, I saw that. Um, I didn't know you were making those because. I've seen like RC Every Day had some, uh, but I can't remember who was making those. I did not know you were doing the parking lot lights and all that stuff. Those are super cool. Did you see him? You follow him on I Instagram? I did not. Or... I don't think I did. No. Is that the one who's making the, like, outside the garage? They're like literally parking lot. Like, they have a concrete oh, okay. base, well, concrete looking base, and I guess not. Everything. They're super cool. Are they metal? Uh, I don't. Know that I paid that much attention. Huh? Okay. I'll tell you the truth, but because I saw a little I'm sure he story. can tell you. Yeah, 
Yeah. Are they metal? Because I saw a little short uh, clip today about like somebody made a jig and they were putting pieces of metal in the jig and then hitting it with like a spot welder hmm. to hold it all in place. And it was like a giant pole with a triangle hanging off one side. Almost like it could have been a... Well, that's different, yeah. Could have oh, been a balls. Like an interstate light. Where'd that go? It's in there, so... <laughs> yeah. Figured it out. Did you? Did yeah, so I have this uh, nice little mark here. Uh-huh. And I couldn't figure out how that got there. A grinder? Uh, no, the drive shaft. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, the pin sticking out? No. Oh, no? Okay, just joking. I was just making... No, so just... Uh, what's moving... Enough to make it hit. The side of the fucking drive shaft. <laughs> Apparently. It's, uh, it's, funny. it's very close. <clears throat> it's those uh, super tight tolerances of uh, the Amazon drive shaft. Ah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that is exactly what you should take into account for that. I, well, if you, if you had done... Oh, never mind. It's not your buddy. What? Nothing. <laughs> what? Uh, blind guy says the wife and him make his own Caesar. I, I can also, see that. He also said no sardines touching my food. Um, that's literally what Caesar dressing is, though. Uh, it doesn't. It's it's supposed to. But yeah. That's that doesn't make any sense. A lot it's of like people. saying I had ranch, but I don't use any sour cream. Right? Don't you put sour cream in ranch? No. no. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Buttermilk. Butter, buttermilk. Yes. Well, no, because that's only buttermilk range. Wouldn't it? Mayonnaise? You know what, bro? I don't know. Anyway, all I do know is that sardines go in Caesar's salad. That's what I... I like how this always turns into a food show. <laughs> <laughs> we should just... I'm just going to replatform the whole channel, and it's just going to be us jabbering about food. We're going to have, like, different entrees around <laughs> Hey, they made all these for us tonight. We probably shit. We get chili. Yes, <clears throat> I like chili. Chili was good. It was. It was made in a pressure cooker. Mr. Pop. Uh, Color Cross says it's a one tent rod shop. Does the street lights? Okay. That's what it was. So he saw the street lights that I saw then. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, Fallen had no idea it was. It was in it until my wife informed me. Now my life has been a lie. <laughs> uh, Jacob says Caesar dressing is a robe. A what? It says a robe. I don't know what that means. Caesar dressing is a robe. Oh, like Caesar the guy, his dressing is a robe. He says he'll see himself out. Yes. Yeah, just just do that. Please, please do. Have a good night, Jake. All right. <laughs> See you next time. Uh, Black guy says mayo, oil, garlic, and lemon juice. That's... Pat B says I think it's anchovies in traditional Caesar sardines. salads. No, it is anchovies, isn't it? So fun fact. Oh boy, those are the same. One and the same. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, or fact. no? Nope. You're see, you don't know what you're talking about either. Fun fact: I don't eat them anyway. So, so sardines is not actually a f <clears throat> a fish. It is a what? Like it's not like. You know, like bluegill is a is a fish, okay. right? A bass right. is a type of fish. Yeah. Sardine is not like one fish. It makes up a whole group of like small fish. Yeah. But once they sardine. get, <clears throat> yeah. But once they, yeah. But that could be like it's herring. That's what it is. It could be herring. But as it when it's real small, it's a sardine. What if you shave so it? So is it a baby fish? Anymore? Sardine is another word for baby fish. Then. Kind of, but not really. <laughs> like I hate this. <laughs> it, it, it's quite complicated. I hate everything that's going on right now. <laughs> Follow uses sour what? cream and ranch packets for dip. Big Egg says, if anyone in or around Tennessee, there is a swap meet this Saturday. I can, share, busy. I can share details if anyone interested, and it's okay too. Where where in Tennessee? I can be there in a few hours. You could spend the day crawling and not touch the same rock twice, too. Ooh. So it's a swap meet and a crawl. I was going to say, what am I doing if I'm at the swap meet, though? I can't do that. Or <clears throat> it's in the rocks, and you have to crawl to the next team. Oh, no, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Blind guy says he's up in the air about selling a truck to then buy a VRD. Uh, or use the VS410 I'd sell and build a C2 out of it. That is so much swippy swappy. 
Uh, what truck are you going to sell? I think that it, it's not good. I know it's not good. I just want the axle in so I can start doing other things. I was told I could drill different holes and I don't think that's going to help. I'm going to go to uh, that other guy that actually makes mounts for this that I already have one of that I know mm -hmm. works and do that. But I do like the fact that this lifts the back of it. It's a little higher. <clears throat> I may go with the other one of the other guys though. Uh, Big Egg says Cookville, Tennessee. Big Buddha's RC Ranch. Big Buddha's RC Ranch. Big Buddha. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. <laughs> Rocking something. Oh no, I forgot hubs. <laughs> Damn it. The whole reason I put this together was to. I was gonna say, you only put two screws on the front hose, too. Yeah, well, I was. I'll probably put scale hardware in it. <clears throat> uh, like I said, black 350s, do you? Phoenix Portal with an Wire? origin I just half cap. Much. Or, I mean, silver will work. Too. I have silver. I'll leave your off of the set. Oh. Blind guy, right there. Phoenix I mean, Portal. They're coming with off my... Origin half. What? Blind guy says Phoenix Portal with an origin half cap. Yeah. Um, depends on what you, I mean, why are you, why are you selling one to get the other or what are you doing precisely, exactly? Rob says the VRD is a better comp truck than the VS410 will ever be. Yeah, 100%. That's why Agreed. I, that's why I'm kind of. Mr. McCann, hello. Hey, -o. Thanks, sir. Are these real or are these? Those are real. My cubs. Are these mine? Or just. Uh, no, I got these from Jordan. Okay. So, okay. Um, so I got one swap. Anyway, I think it looks better. I think it makes the bronze brighter. It's, yeah. It's one bad. shade of gray is brighter than the other now. Yeah. <laughs> one shade of gray. One of these things is. Ooh, one one of these things is not like the other. One of these kids is dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good turn. Uh, robot chicken? I believe is what that was. I don't watch. Uh, well, it's not on the air anymore, but it was. Used to be on That's why, because they're killing swim. kids. <laughs> no, it was hilarious. If you didn't like robot chicken, there was something wrong with you. You didn't have a sense of humor. I don't know that I ever watched it. Oh, it's hilarious. They have uh, gummy bears, and they would like eat each other. Uh, they had... One of my favorites was a giraffe, and it's like the seven signs, or the seven stages of acceptance, like if you're going to die. And so it's like, <clears throat> he's in sand, uh, quicksand. Okay. And it's this giraffe, and he starts sinking. And like, whatever the first step is, is like anger or whatever. He's like, God damn it, why am I in this quicksand? Whatever. Well, then he goes through all the stages of um, death and all that stuff, and then he finally gets to, he's like right here on his neck, and he finally gets to acceptance. He's like, okay, it's fine. It's fine. This is this is what's gonna happen. This is what's gonna happen. All of a sudden, you hear this thunk, and he hits the bottom, and he's like right here. And so he didn't he didn't die in the quicksand. He's just stuck. It was funny, you know. So it's a funny, funny, funny skit. Lots of them. They're all like, what's wrong? On? Okay. They're all like, I don't know, thirty seconds long usually. Just a little quick. It's almost like the uh, Family Guy flash uh, flash offs. Okay. Yep. Uh, Blind guy says he wants to do a flat rail build. I also just want another, want to build another truck. Maybe you want a new truck. Decisions, man. A carbon is the way to go if you're going to build a new C2 and you want portals. <clears throat> uh, Logan says sardines and anchovies are completely different species, by the way. So, see, why? Why? And neither one of them belong on pizza. Yeah, but one of them belongs in Caesar dressing. Yes. Like I said, That's robot chickens. Robot chicken. See, robot chicken is awesome. The, I forget what one of them where uh, the gummy bears turn into zombies or something like that, and one of them starts eating the other ones, like eats its leg and stuff. Um, it's just funny. It's a funny, funny show. I also watched it when I was like 23, 24, so my sense of humor might be a little different, but I would probably still think it's funny. I just can't. I can't do adult cartoons. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> Yikes. My bad. So you don't watch any Big Mouth? I don't like Big Mouth. I've tried I'm a couple a of them. But yeah, it's not a fan. What's the story of the bass on the wall? So, somebody caught a fish and then they mounted it. 
Yeah. Good story, that, bro. That's how that happened. <laughs> the end. The end. <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> so the actual story behind the fish is... Um, it died. It died. <laughs> it did. Uh, my great-grandpa... Caught a fish. Caught a fish. Yes. <laughs> so... <clears throat> The house that I live in was my great grandparents' house, and when I acquired the house, I acquired all of their shit as well. Um, most of that has um, been donated, burned, whatever. Um, but I kept some of the cool stuff, and that is a monster bass. They don't? No. Nah. <laughs> I want to point that out before I give them back and you think I've stripped them all. There's one. There's two. Well, they were all in there. Three. Oh, they go in, but they just continue. Well, just, well, this whole see. half of the wheel is not working. We just got to mix those. Mix those around. And I don't think fine. it's the, the screws. I think it's the actual. So that doesn't, that doesn't it's work. A, it's not a two and a half millimeter screw? <laughs> no. <clears throat> it might be now. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that fish is older than I am. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. Which isn't really all that much of that. Did I it? mean, it's like damn near 40 years old. Did it walk uphill both ways? In yeah, storm? probably. So he caught it right when me and Doug were born. Yeah. And before you were even thought of, probably. January of 1987. Okay, so it's not almost 40 years old. It's like 36. <laughs> I, was, I was three, but... Actually, I wasn't even three yet. I was two. Well, the original statement oh, of, oh. that's older than me. Yeah, still I was say, I was, I was two. 87, I'd have been two, and no. I would have been three. Yeah, no kidding. No, garage guy. Yeah, RC Garage Guy's in here. Hello! Uh, he says, I wish it could have been colder yesterday. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> so we went crawling yesterday, and uh, it was supposed to be a halfway decent Indiana spring day. I was going to say, was he, is he local? Was he there? RC Garage guy? Yeah. 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 He had all the painted bodies up. Yeah, he has all sorts of cool stuff, and he talked to us, you know, and everything. And if his kids or somebody else came around, you got a business card. Yeah. Um, so there's another screw that's stripped out. Um, Wait, is that the dude? Is, is he the guy that has the DMG buggy? Yes. Yes. That I crawled the whole time with, with my buggy? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so anyway. Sorry, I'm not always an asshole. His, his cool uh, <laughs> grandson has the, the mullet rat tail. Oh, thing. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Super All right. Sick. So I, I know I know who that is. I didn't realize. Okay, so three for three on this one's bad. Um, but anyway. They're not my followers, Pete. They're Matt's. Yeah. <laughs> Pete said, you need to, Jordan, you need to pay better attention to your followers. Oh, that's not necessarily true. You guys are... Uh, <clears throat> Getting to where people recognize you too. That's for sure. That's scary. Oh, that's my bald spot. It's weird. That's true. Really weird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we went crawling yesterday. Uh, two of the four, or two of the six, actually work in this house. Well, you better give me a good set whenever. Uh, you... <laughs> you better suck a fat dick too. You're getting these back. Um. Anyway, oh, we just went offline. What? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Demonetized. monetized. Actually, we'll probably be re-monetized. We get some. Weird ads now. Logan, I agree with you. Logan says the gummy bear walking down the hill singing and steps into the bear trap is probably yeah. my favorite one. Yeah. I've seen that multiple times. Mm, I'm delicious. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I guess that explains the uh, the VP hubs and China wheels. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Usually it's the other way around. Yeah. So anyway, for like the ninth time when we start the story. <clears throat> we went crawling yesterday. And it was supposed to be decent. It ended up being not decent at all. It was uh, really cold, which in the morning was not that big of a deal. We were like, okay, it'll warm up. And it was supposed to be like, it was like 38 or something. And it was supposed to be 50 some odd by the midday. But with the wind chill, uh, Rob had told us that uh, as the morning went on with the wind chill, it was, uh, feels like 17. So I know my Canadian friends will be like, oh, that's no big deal. Eh? We do it all the time. Eh? But it was cold. It was cold when you're. When you're expecting 40 and it feels like it's 17, it was uh, yeah. Then you had one guy in a t shirt dude. all day long, and then Stan shows up in shorts. Stan's so always that, wearing shorts, he's so. always in shorts, so that didn't yeah. surprise me. But yeah, dude wearing a t shirt, uh, I can't remember his name, he's with Garage Guy, I think. Okay, um, but yeah, 
I gotta go back and catch up on some okay. comments here since you're three stories. I only told one story. I know, but we had to restart three times. Uh, Biggest said, hell yeah, nice story. Appreciate you sharing. Don't think I've seen it in the shop before. Uh, uh, Jake says it was colder than an ex girlfriend's heart on Sunday. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Blind Guy says, as someone who grew up in the fishing industry, I can't stand these stinky little bastards. I'll use them to catch salmon, but I won't eat them. Oh, There's yes, plenty of Caesar dressings out with them. <laughs> <laughs> he also says, anywho, enough of the salad dressing. So how do you like the F-toys? Um, uh, yes, Rob said it was cold as hell, and Pete said, I heard Matt, I heard Matt did really good. I didn't do that. Because I told him there was... 36 people, uh-huh. and then I said, you did so well, you didn't even turn in a sheet. Yeah. <laughs> I usually don't turn in the sheets, or if I do, they have like 1.643 million, I just make up some number. I think I was right around like 140, I can't remember what uh, Hand of God's point. 20. 20. 20. I was at 150. Yeah, that's literally, I think I was at 140 or 150. I think I had 10 gates plus two Hand of Gods, so. Um, I would have been middle, but it doesn't mean anything. I, I don't need the ego jerk off or anything, so I don't really care. Garage guy says, Jordan, you need to let me do your panels. <clears throat> we can figure something out. Yeah. Those yes. aren't metal panels, though. <clears throat> at least not on that one at the moment. This is sick. Uh, but yes, the F-Toys are... Awesome. That's probably my... Ma- Mall. Top three favorite, if not mm-hmm. my favorite rig right now. I'm a big fan of this. Nobody's seen this really yet. Unless you're one of my channel members. I just got it together. It's a coil spring front, leaf spring there. Boing, boing, boing. Doesn't have any shocks on it, so it does. It's got a lot of droop on that side. Dang. Yeah, boy. Uh, Flex Friday, I'm going to be killing it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Three wheel motion, take a hit of the potion. You know, the three wheel. Uh, garage guy said that was my son. That's your, I thought mohawk. that was your grandson. I would have swore you said that was your grandson. It doesn't matter. Anyway, no wait with the mohawk or with the uh, oh. wearing shorts, or is that the same person? Oh, okay. Oh, so the the one wearing shirt. shorts is his son. The other one is his grandson. Okay. Now I think we're on. You all think we're right? I think Are we on the right track now. Should have found him. He said in the shorts. In the shorts. No, yeah. in the shorts was Stan. As I say, I didn't see anybody else in shorts. T-shirt. Short sleeve T-shirt. Yep, T-shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 that guy. Okay. Look, <clears throat> we yeah. haven't been drinking. There are so many local people that, like, I think we're all trying to get to know that I can't I can't keep some people straight. I know what your name is. I know what some other people's name is, but if I don't see them, especially over the winter, I, probably, I don't know anybody. I probably forgot a lot of them over the winter. I just don't remember people. Yeah. There's that too, but. Um, Rob says it was right when we were leaving. It warmed up. Yeah, right as right <laughs> as we we're getting ready to go, it finally got warm. Uh, Ty Joe said last night we got six inches of snow in southwestern Wisconsin. Crawled around the driveway and the sidewalk this morning. And six inches of snow. Keep it up there. Yeah, I was gonna say you can have that. You can you can keep up. Uh, no. Yes, Al, we did go crawling yesterday. It was a cold day. Yeah, it was a little chilly. It was good to get out, though. It was our first one for this year for us. Mm-hmm. I our liked first get-together. I uh, liked it. Blind guy says, that would be me. How about that heat, A? Eh? So the cold is good for him, I guess. Mm. Uh, are you saying the center finishers are ego jerk-offs? That's not what I said <laughs> at all. So, what I was saying is I don't really care about how I place on a trail day. I don't. It, that's not a big deal to me. Unless one of the center finishers is a jerk off, and then I will say yes. Uh, Fallen says he has indeed seen it, and it's sick. Yes. Oh, yeah. He saw it. So it's all chromoly tubed, made by uh, Merchant Metal Fab, Leif. Uh, I asked him how you say his first name because I have met guys that spell it the same who pronounce it Leif. And then I went to school with a guy who named or who pronounced his as Leaf, which I always thought was weird. Um, so how do you pronounce it? Because I thought it was Leaf. It's Leif. Leif. It's uh, okay. European of some sort, like Swiss, Swiss, 
Switzerland Viking things. I like Viking people, basically. All of them. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway. I'm a Viking. So, not Canadian? No, not Canadian. No way. Logan says, the sound of the F toy cage hitting the rocks made me comfortable. I loved it. It kept sounding like something was breaking. Yeah. So, I have metal panels on mine. Um, actually, I'm done with this. So I can put this up first. Anyway. I'll get my, my F toy. Toy. Oops, really. Just one screw. Yeah. Uh, this hole here is factory. So, like, literally, you just put one oh, in it. it I mean, it's on there. It's not. I might try and like, I don't know, do something that. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's a later. That's a couple weeks from now, Matt project. Can you hand me my F toy by any chance, or am I gonna have to? Or are you gonna get up to? You're gonna get up to. Okay, cool. All right. Gotcha. Doug, Doug, can I get you to move the, uh, the the Phoenix real quick so we can see things? Well, I mean, sorry, sorry to steal your thunder, there, Star of the Show. <laughs> um. All right. So anyway, those are yours. My tall ass can too. Are these yours? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, those are the ones you bought yesterday. Anyway, um. So I have metal panels, and so when this thing would smack down, the bottom of the panel is just barely or level with the uh, tube, so it would smack, and you could hear this whack, and then you could hear the panels kind of like grinding across, and I loved it. It made plenty of tumbles. Uh, oh damn. Didn't even see that. It definitely rounded the edges <laughs> of the roof panel over. I got a uh, over that. I got a couple good dents here, which is super cool to me. <clears throat> Matt drove it much more like the F toy. It's supposed to be driven. I did. I was very proud of myself <laughs> with with a uh, head and cam work. Yeah, yeah. I did. I think I did pretty good. Did I not drive it like I should have? I had to, I definitely was keeping in mind that I had a leaf, uh, leaf spring truck. Um, uh, well, according to a uh, guy I know that was around the competition rock scene when that was going on, he said, like, you have you drive them like it doesn't matter that you're going to tear bomb, them up. Bombs it. Like, so you, you drove it accurately. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Send it? Yeah. <laughs> Like, back it up, just grab third gear and just... Oh, there's a couple times I did. I was trying to let it work. I've learned a lot from Jordan and Doug. I gave it a few seconds. I gave it a, I get a decent amount of time to try and work. I'd saw the wheel back and forth, you know, and be like, come on, let's do some things. And a lot of times it took off. It was like, eh, it didn't work, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tried it your way, now it's mine. Yeah, basically. So, but I like it a lot. It's, uh, they're ugly. And they're really slow, and they don't flex very well, but they're just a freaking blast. Man. I can't wait to get interior in it and all that stuff. I also figured out these wheels are one inch wide. That's why I think I had so much foam problem. Oh no! Oh, yeah. Well, I have. Well, when you put fault or the uh, pimples on there that are fourteen inches wide, <laughs> you're fine, right? You won't even notice it. Well, I have those inserts. I think that's my problem. So that I can fix. Oh, okay, cool, cool. How are you gonna fix that? Scaling width. Ah, I got you. Blind guy says he loves how leaf spring builds are becoming a thing people are doing. Well, now that people are making mounts, it's easier. Well, I think the mounts and the fact that, like, there's multiple options of leaf springs now. Yeah. You used to be stuck with just the Tamiya spring, and that was it. You had to make that stiff ass spring work. Yeah. I'm not real sure. I know there's a difference between springs because I have springs that are like three different lengths. <clears throat> And I don't know where they all came from. So there's... I know there's the original Bruiser, the High Lift. And those are all different lengths. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. And then the TF2. The TF2. The TF2s are I've seen, shorter, right? I've seen one where it uses basically two pieces to make the lead. Those are the uh, Merchant ones. Is that the Merchant? Yeah, he bolts them together in the middle. Yeah. Which I don't know what that does exactly, but it's kind of weird. So I think... You can change your length. Like, I well, die. that, but I think... It's easier to make them that way. Yeah. Than, than to roll. get it correct. Yeah. I thought that was probably the reason too. <clears throat> and then I'm on the supposedly on the list for the twisted fab leaves. Oh, nice. The long boys. Like the long boys. Eight inch long long boys. No, not that long long oh, boys. Not the long. Not the long long boys. Just the long boys. The medium. The regular long boys. boys. Medium boy. Medium boys. <laughs> just a just a little bit longer.
Although I'm not sure I'm actually on the list because I messaged his personal page. Ah, uh, you're screwed. And then he, which I mean, I he told me he's told me <coughs> I'm on the list. And then he made a post today that the list is complete. Well, everything no, <laughs> everything will go through like the Twisted Fab Facebook page now. So all the prepaid ones are done. I haven't paid for them, so not in that group. So, so are you well. still hoping to be on the list, or at this point I, you don't care? I hope I'm on the list, but okay. I mean, I re-drilled holes, and I was happy with what what it did yesterday. So you re-drilled holes? Yeah. In in what the front hangers? You went up, right? Yeah, my front hang, front shack hole is much better angle. Oh, okay. Now I'm just saying. I thought you meant you re-drilled holes in the leaf. Oh no. To move the axle forward, because I thought about doing that. Did you see happen to see any axle wrap while you're running? Obviously not in the rear because you're not in the rear, but yeah. the front yes. held well. There were a I couple times that I was like, "Oh God!" <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I did see the front move a lot. The front moves a lot more. That's yeah. uh, that's a very interesting thing to watch whenever you hit something or like put it in a bind, and the front just kind of goes, "Look oh, at." <laughs> and then there was after. We had gone through all the gates and we went over there to that far end, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which I hate that section for anything scale, oh, super I, scale stuff. I hate it in general. Uh, <clears throat> my front bumper was up against a rock, but the rear tires clearly had traction because they pulled the, <laughs> pulled the <laughs> things all apart. Yeah, I really enjoyed it though. I think yesterday was a blast. I'm really glad we built these things. Yeah, I don't know if we can turn it into a glass like people were talking just because I don't know if anybody's going to want to pay for what it would cost them to mass produce them. But yeah, I don't want to build a whole class worth. Yeah. I'd build a couple. I mean, like, I mean, you, I'm sure Doug can figure it out if he wanted to. Doug? I think Doug's mm -hmm. working on it. I, mean, maybe. I didn't think you were building that toy. Oh, okay. Never mind. Secret cloud now, I guess. <clears throat> Doug may have acquired some parts this weekend that he didn't have before. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Logan. <laughs> yeah. Um, I could 100% see Logan doing it for sure. I'll have to get the plans from Jordan and build it to spec. Good luck. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a fun, fun project right there. <laughs> Jake said he'd be interested in an F2H cage. Well, I will uh, post the link to Hendrix Motorsports for the... <laughs> <laughs> I would build another one. For the dimensions? Um, I would definitely build another one, and I could include a set of Lexan panels. Well, I'd include the Lexan for you to cut your own panels and drill them out and stuff like that. Um, but I think I would have a base price, and then if you want X, I would do that. If you want, you know, like it's just all going to be cum cumulative. I can say, hey, you build this, you buy this, whatever, you know, off Amazon. Because it's really like, the expensive part is just the axles. <clears throat> I agree with that. However you want to And it doesn't touch. need to be, though. No, it doesn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> so there's some tire rubbing. There's, oh, dang. Yeah. Um, especially when the tire goes like this, and then goes like this. And it's, you know, that doesn't help, but... <laughs> anyway. I'm going to get some bigger... What size hubs do you have on those? This size? Yeah. Really? I think so. Hmm. Mine rubbed like a bitch. I do have the steering kind of turned back. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. I don't. I, all of the steering... Well, and... My uh, servo horn wasn't very centered when I... So you had a lot of steering one way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I fixed that yesterday when I got home, but... Gotcha. <clears throat> So if you can make the printed inserts, I'll go ahead and take these and put these on because I'm not 100% sure I'm going to use these. They look good, but I don't know that I like them. I didn't have any issues with them on the Pibbles. Are sure you using stock foams? No, they're CIs. These CIs? I got dual stages. I got single stage. I also have a set of dual stage for 4.5s. Okay, cool, cool. Those aren't going to fit in there. Yeah, they will. Without the tuning ring, they will. Oh, okay. They're literally, these are what, four, four, fives? 
Yeah. Yeah, 4.5. That'll fit. That'll be fine. <clears throat> I, think, I think you're supposed to use the four and a quarter. Watch me. I mean, you I'm do sorry. it. I'm go for it. Just play my hand. <clears throat> or I'll just go with the four one nines. Uh, no. That's a little too aired down for me. Then I might as well stay with the Falcons, because these will be so flat, they'll be literally right. just as short. <clears throat> so. Let's see. Line up. See, I think on both pairs of my CIs, I didn't use the tuning phones. The I never use those things. It puts too much pressure in there. I don't like that. I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. I do like your, you know, scale hubs and stuff. Your truck just looks cool. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Want to sell it? <laughs> <laughs> I can build my own. I'm good. I do, I don't know. We've been discussing tubing builds and stuff like that, too. We still we still keeping people? Okay, yeah. Cool. yeah. Um, <clears throat> I just hate to run off course if we're not doing anything and people don't really care. Um, yeah. We are discussing building buggies and stuff, but I'm not 100% sure either any of us. I don't know about Doug. I know Jordan and I really aren't. Building buggies specifically like as a the way we've been doing it. So we've been discussing more of that. Um, I do like the way that Leif basically built the Pajero. I said, this is roughly what I want. Um, I gave him a lot of creative freedom, and then uh, I got a shot about halfway through. And I'm really thinking that's going to be my... Rob said, shoot him a price later. Okay. <laughs> Once we figure out exactly exactly what it would be and what we want to do, I think we'll do that. Because I had to do uh, what we've called map proof mine. Um, so mine has a few more bars than Jordan does. My shocks aren't technically correct. Um, I didn't even look look mine over. I kind of curious to see, like, if you bent anything. If like I bent anything, yeah, I don't know if I did either. I think the single shear shock cut is the only real. <clears throat> They're fine. Well, I mean, you know. and the rest of the cage should be fine anyway. My only pull, concern, pull my driver out. My only concern was bending these in and bending those in. That's really yeah. the only thing that I was concerned about, and I don't think that had happened for a while. But I bet a big smack in the right spot it Where would. Where at? Over the tires? Yeah. Right. Because oh, there's okay. just there's just a long bar here that nothing is connected. Was, yeah, because you could take <coughs> the one from here to the mm -hmm. shock tower. I thought about it. I thought about making a cool one that goes up and over the shock, like little mm. bump. Yeah, but if you're gonna do that, you might as well just tie in the outside to your hood bar. Mm -hmm. At that point. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. Go from like over the shock, up and over it, and then yeah. get to there. They're definitely built differently, but I, I like it. <clears throat> I think you should rock the blue painter's tape. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What is this? There's some sort of. Uh, Rob says you bolt the channels onto the cage. Yes. yes, they are all bolted on, uh, four per side, and then um, I did my hood a little different. That's going to be another thing: is how you want to mount the battery, what you want to do. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea to put my battery inside and have this as being an open and hood, uh, which would have been fine. But then I added some crossbars that are 100% in the way, and my Velcro works too well. <laughs> So combine the bar in the way with the Velcro, and I couldn't get the damn battery in and out. Wasn't because my original plan was to build like a toolbox in the back, kind of like uh, your turtle buggy, right? Uh, for my battery, and then I also don't think I'd be happy with that small of a battery in these things, though. Because I ran a 1500, and I killed one of them within about 65 gates or so. I think that's where we were about 65, 70 gates. I mean. If we were doing a comp, 100%, but as a trail truck, I would. I mean, my stock motor truck <coughs> made all through all 100 gates uh, with an 8050. 50. Well, you know, Cam and Edward, but. Yeah, so, so I mean, it eats up yeah. a little bit more gas. Yep. Makes yeah, sense. It does. It's got to be seven more. That's fine. If you haven't been following along, <laughs> I bought a little bit more of a motor than Jordan did, so I told him that I put a little bit of head and cam work into mine. It's a little bit faster. Yeah. 
And uh, it's not bad. I hate, I literally want to throw up admitting it, but that Fusion is stupid at low speed. It is so nice. I would never give up the power of what I normally run for that little bit because I think I could gear it down and get it. I mean, my black jackets are pretty smooth, but um, nothing's silly <clears throat> for sure. Rob says he would want to use aluminum panels, he thinks. Yeah, they make a cool sound. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Dude, I remember back when I was first did the crawling stuff and when the first like supers and yeah. Drinks like that. Dude, I would use like apart. monster. Actually, it was Venom, Venom Energy drinks. Yeah. And I would cut out the Venom logo, and that would be my logo on the side. But they, yeah, had that nice yeah. crinkle pop sound when you yeah. rub it against the rock. You know what? I bet those cans, like can pop cans, mm -hmm. would make good panels. Oh, yeah. Would beat the hell out of them. Yeah. Even if you use the plastic and then put the metal one just for like a support, the plastic for a support behind yeah. it. No, I I want <laughs> um, just use the metal one and have it really oh, yeah. crinkle yeah. and everything. Because that's the one thing I don't like about the Lexan panels, yeah. is they hold up really well. They break. Okay, I break a lot of them. Uh oh, panels are not matte proof. Per yeah, personally, I break a lot of them. You may not, but yeah, I, I think real thin. Yeah, I like it. Because even the flashy material that I got from you, it's too which, thick. Which is what, that's what mine is. Yeah, it's it's too thick. It takes a really hard hit yeah. to dent it, it sure does. which I have done. I did it in in my juggy, but <clears throat> which is sad. But <clears throat> <clears throat> but I did these out of Lexan because I made them at five o'clock yesterday morning, and I don't think the wife would have appreciated the power tools. Sucks to be her, huh? Yeah. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Don't listen now. <clears throat> Scott said he could possibly be interested in a cage. Uh, uh, Griffin? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, he, uh, I think he said something about that earlier. I don't remember. I've talked to a lot of people. I think Scott said he would be maybe be interested in one on YouTube or something like that. Um, but yeah, we can, we can definitely figure that out. I think it'd be a killer class because it literally takes, I think it takes all the truck out of it. And you, it is literally just, especially with them all being the same, it's like a spec class, but the all driver and how hard do you want to push that thing? Yeah. <clears throat> but my thought was, we'll do them exactly the same. You have to have wreath, uh, wraith seats. If you want to change up the transmission, I guess we could build around that. But like the anti rat bar would be a little more, you know, just moving things around if you wanted it would be a little more. Um... <laughs> Logan said, so next garage day, we drink some beer for panels. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. But nothing like the breast cancer awareness and beer. But Can't be any worse than jizz and penises <laughs> on, on them. Mine does have a wiener. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, that's one thing. I mean, that'd be up to somebody else, though. I wouldn't have to worry about that. I'd definitely just build them all the same then, um, as far as that goes. Um, what I would say, Rob, if I were you and you were going to build a class around it, you would definitely have to put the rules around the drawings we have and it has to be X long or it doesn't even have to be a certain dimension. It just has to be like the chassis can't be shorter than the cage, but this is supposed to be an overall length. So, personally, I moved mine around a little bit, but <clears throat> um, whatever. That's not, that's not my <clears throat> problem. I mean, we, I scaled the drawings out to basically a, a one-ninth scale. Yeah, it's almost exactly one ninth. <clears throat> just, just under one-ninth. And really, I mean, it, beyond this is what the chassis looks, is supposed to look like, you can... You can do whatever you want to. You can really, yeah. You can scale them out really well. I know that much. Because some of them are super cool. <clears throat> Got. Because we're going to put like propane tanks in the back and things like that. Um, propane accessories. Propane. <laughs> I may get Hank Hill to drive mine. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but yeah, propane stuff and things like I don't that. know if I'm going to have a driver. What? I think you have to. Yeah, you have to have a driver. So. No. Well, yeah, I don't really think there's a so to this. 
So you put your driver in there, right? Yeah. He's holding on to the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no legs. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. He could have legs if you didn't cut him off. He's yeah. got room in there. Well, yeah, but take him out. And it, so then you're gonna have a dash in here, yeah. and then. I think your seats are also reclined a little bit too much too. <clears throat> no, I mean the base. The base. The base. Up. The base looks like it's tall. Yeah. Well, the he base needs, is flat. He needs to sit down. Yeah. But the seats might kick back some too. If I dropped it down any further, then I would have. I, I mean, I guess I could have cut part of the seat out for the for the trans. But yeah. uh, Rob says, are you running a VFD? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just yeah, regular, that's right? that's another thing that's actually kind of nice about it is it's all VFD parts. Um, I can get the chassis relatively easily. I have uh, a couple of them sitting at the house. I'll say I, I bought one yesterday. <clears throat> um, I've got a bunch of them, and it just it would literally be super easy to pop out. So it's a little bit wider than a regular four ten. Yeah. Um, just so that the leaf's mounted up correctly. Mm -hmm. I think, well, um, whatever his name is, Twisted Fab, mm -hmm. has posted a couple of videos where he's making different mounts to where it looks like it's maybe standard width uh, chassis. Oh, nice. And then... Well, you could, we could have done it, but everything would have had to been outside the chassis. Yeah. Because we widened Or below them. it. Yeah, we widened them... Uh, what eight millimeters? So twelve. Twelve? Yeah. I thought they were oh no, they're sixty eight inside, yeah. So we widened them twelve millimeters. So literally everything will just be outside the chassis, which could possibly give you a decent performance advantage because you could be lower if you wanted to or but it's not outside enough. Yeah. I'm sure you could figure it out if you were if I said, hey, they have to be this wide, like, I'm sure we could figure it out. But <clears throat> now, Did you center your view? I know yours is offset. Did you center yours, or is yours offset? Mine's centered. Offset? Is it? Okay. Yeah, mine's offset. Which way did you offset yours? Uh, towards, towards the... passenger? Towards passenger, yeah. I was also going to use a twin, but I don't know if I'm going to put dig on it now. So there were a couple times yesterday that I was like, Want it? I really wish I had it. Yeah. Just because so many of my trucks do. But I don't think, even with the way Toyotas are set up with all their different transfer pieces, they don't have dig. You can't get to... You can't? I don't think so. Maybe you can. I would assume with like an Atlas or something. <coughs> yeah. You're not can't run Atlas. I thought you could. No. Oh, okay, never mind then. JK. I mean, somebody hasn't made a stock case dig. Yeah. Capable? Who knows? <laughs> I didn't do that much info digging on them. I just looked at a few pictures on Instagram, was like, I could do that. Made one that was messed up and was like, well, can't do that, I guess. Can't do that. And now. then Jordan said, it looks like shit. You need to do it this way. And I said, okay. So I scrapped pretty much the whole buggy, started over. But like an idiot, I took it apart instead of just starting over. Stupid. And then started over. And <clears throat> Stupid. But I did already have a lot of work done on the chassis that I didn't want to replicate again. So no. <clears throat> okay. Rob said he'd love to see an F toy and We Rock One Nine classes. I'd I'd be um, in for both. The only problem is, well, with the F toys especially, they all literally have to be like. We'd almost have to build, the, build them for the yeah, class. Yeah, we'd almost have to do them all for the class because they all, I mean, the rules are very, very strict. And in the real world, they all looked the same because they were all made by like four different people. Um, and I'm completely like, I am i don't want to build 47 of them if I don't have to <laughs> or if that's not what helps. But if someone's going to build them, then they need to have a set of... Somehow we need to build rules around it. Specs. Yeah, there needs to be specs so that way they're not like, it's got well, these springs and some tubes and it's like a, you know, it doesn't look realistic or, you know, whatever. I, I don't care. I'll do whatever. I mean, really... You don't have to twist our arm to build buggies, so it really doesn't <clears throat> matter to us. You have to twist my arm to build buggies for other people. Yeah. <laughs> is my problem. <clears throat> yeah, and my worry <clears throat> is, it sounds like a good idea until I say, well, they're going to be 
until we have to build 12 of them. Yeah. See, but it, yes, it's for other people, but it's not custom. Yeah. You're building the say, same thing. So if we're going to pound the them all out, they wouldn't be It's terrible. not like you're waiting. It's not like you'd be taking custom builds. Yeah. Like, oh, can you put this bar here? No. The I bar think goes there, and that's where it's at. If I had, <clears throat> if we ran down the parts you need, as far as all that goes, like, because they're using Amazon Springs, there's nothing special about half of this. I'm sure if we wanted to, we could get either A&M to give us a bulk price on these, or we could have Sin Cut Sin remake them. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not building them. I'm not, I'm not doing that again. That's, <laughs> yeah. I, I started making my own again to try and move it, and I was like, yep, this is dumb. I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, but didn't you just say you can get that from the Amazon Leaf Kit, basically? No. No. Those oh. are plate steel from A&M. Oh, okay. Um, and it's just literally like, what are those... Those leaf springs are like 20 bucks for four of them. Yeah. I think they're even cheaper if you buy eight of them. So, like, if you wanted spares or if you and your buddy went in halves, um, you could do that. Or you can reach out to Twisted Fab and get his stage three ones for yeah. 185 bucks a set. Yeah, I mean, it's not really a big deal. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but they flex like a link truck. Yeah. Which I don't really comprehend to a degree, but whatever. Um, so for me personally, I think if we had, if I had another, at least five people that said we will do it and wanted to at least half down, I would contemplate it. And I think we could figure it out, but I wouldn't build five, six of them when people said, yeah, I'll do it. And then they don't have any skin in the game and they can back out. Cause I, I don't, I would, I would be upset. I don't want to be upset. This is not why I do things. <laughs> you don't want to see me. <laughs> hey. I got better things to do than be <laughs> building trucks and being pissed off. <clears throat> I can build my own stuff and be pissed off. I don't need anybody else's help. <clears throat> Rob said I'd be surprised uh, if we get 10. Yeah, I mean, it would be... I mean, that's literally... You'd have three here. I bet Logan would be in, and then if I could... Commission five more, you know, that'd be, that'd be eight at least, you know. That's enough for me. <clears throat> and the Rob said it kind of defeats the purpose of a leaf truck. Yeah, to get True. monstrous flex out of it and all that stuff. But I think he's just, I mean, he's trying to push the limits. I mean, he's, yeah. he's, he's up to over a seven inch leaf, I think. Yeah, well, that's, that's available. Seven, that's a lot of leaf. I asked him to make me an eight inch leaf. Like eight or eight and a half something, but it was also going to be shaped like this, so that really didn't count. I guess. You guys want screwdriver? <clears throat> Common? No, because it's over there. No, that's that's not a common. What the fuck is a common? Who the hell says straight? That? That's a common in Phillips. You mean flat? Yeah, flathead. What are common. you doing, bro? We can take a poll right now, <laughs> and I bet you're the only one that calls that a common. Uh, <laughs> no. What? What do you mean no? No. So I all of my uh, common screwdrivers <laughs> are back on the wall from the shop. <laughs> Tell us what you yeah, call yeah, a please. screwdriver that's not a Phillips that goes flat like this. I don't want to influence anybody, but it's flat. <laughs> <clears throat> Rob said figure out a price and... We would have a better idea if guys wanted to mm. invest. Yeah. All right. Tune in for next week's show. It'd be less than a comp truck, I bet. You'd have total. Well, I mean, a crazy comp truck or whatever. I don't know. I'm just all about You know what? We'll figure it out. Regular, flathead, flathead, flathead. Hmm. Huh. Teleguided said common idiots. <laughs> Thank you, Teleguided. No, he meant common is idiots. No, I'm saying it's common, you idiots. No, I don't think that's yes. what I'm saying. Didn't Flathead. <clears throat> like I said, would be worth looking into for sure on my end. In the end, could be worth worth it for me to pay the extra. I mean, I don't want to... I mean, it wouldn't be $600 for a cage, but Jordan and I have both kind of said, like, just for the time, materials, and stuff that it takes, like... 350 is usually our starting point to build almost anything. That would be probably right around where I would say. I'd be okay with that. Because I could use 
a lot of the things I already have that I had to buy to make mine. <clears throat> but it would be, that would be a lot more like, um, and this is nothing against Jordan, but it would be more like Jordan's, whereas, like I said, mine is a little more um, map-proof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, like, instead of the leaves go through and, like, Jordan, did you do your tube or did you use the spacer still? Tubes. You did tubes. Okay. I, did, I did go. I went back and yeah. did that. So basically, I did um, on a square body or a lot of things that you can build, like 70s pickups. The rear shackle mount is in the frame. And if it's just a stock truck, it's usually just a hole with like this little thing and it swings through there. I know on like a square body, they have a plate from DIY 4x that bolts on and then it, the whole tube comes out. So there is no spacer or any rubber or anything like at the shackle, it keeps it straight. I did that. I moved them up. Um, the tubing that offsets my skid is no longer spacers. It's actually tube that's brazed in there to make sure that's straight. Uh, I put an X in the back going down to the shock hoops because <clears throat> I knew I was going to get driven, basically. I mean, like, Jordan better have that. Jordan has a little bit different rear shock tabs, um, which I do think look good, but... I made mine a little differently. It just it just all depends on what everybody would want. There's no way I would personally feel comfortable driving a single shear shock mount truck. But <clears throat> the reasoning behind it. Oh, it's I know it's realistic. I'm just saying I could. Well, that, but how much strain are you really putting on those shocks? In those leaf springs. The, the only time you're really going to put a strain on those shocks is when if you bottom, bottom it out. Yeah. That's it. Which is half of driving something really hard is when you slam it onto. <clears throat> yeah, that's cute. You just push on it a little bit. Oh, no. I'm. I got on this thing pretty, pretty hard a few times yesterday. Uh, yes, actually. As you can tell that my rear leaf is now octagon shaped. <laughs> she wrapped. Yep, I bent that. <clears throat> oh, the front one too. The front's the same way. Yeah, it's that's it's bent. <laughs> oh god, that's a that's a large difference between those two leaves. Mm -hmm. So does your anti wrap bar not work? <laughs> not on that side, apparently. <laughs> to make another one. Uh, Scott Griffin wants to know what's a set of F10s complete new cost. Uh. I don't know, honestly. The... I haven't done that math. Oh, I think this one, too. Uh, Teleguide says, you guys think you will TIG weld the cages? <laughs> no. For right now, no. I have been looking at a TIG because I'm impatient with brazing. I don't think it would change the price because then I'd have to justify having the TIG and doing all of it. Um, but I definitely would probably... I feel like be able to pound them out a lot faster. Once I got the learning curve of learning to TIG the correct way, or yeah, learning to TIG the correct way and all that stuff. It's fine. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's just, there we go. We're, it's basically brand new again. Rob said housing <coughs> to 280. I was gonna say, when, cause when <coughs> I did, the guy asked me about buying the pink axles. I think I figured up with the BCA housings and knuckles, and two axle kits it was like 540. Yeah, the axles themselves are 550 bucks. Plus, you got, I mean, we went with realistic shocks. I don't know what we would do if we were doing like a comp, like a scene with them or whatever. We just went with realistic RC4 drive shocks just for the fun of it because they look good. Um, Again, you're on leaf springs, so you're not. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm so, just saying. So you could put big boards on it, and it's right. not gonna. It's not gonna hurt it. I. I know that. I'm just saying, we made some decisions of realism that I don't know if we would need to stick to if we made a comp truck out of them. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but looking at it now, I would definitely buy an eight pack of leaf springs on the first go round. <clears throat> so you have the spares. <laughs> <laughs> I got plenty of spares. I just didn't think I'd need them this soon. I mean, are you getting axle wrap on that side? Uh, it's pretty fucked up. I don't know why. Well, I, 
I would assume so. Do I need another anti ref bar? I wouldn't think you need two. Well, you don't have any movement there. I mean, that leaf was like this instead of going like this. Yeah. It was it was shaped like that. It had two very hard bends in it. I wonder if you backed into something. Oh, or like I was up and bouncing on it. Maybe. That's a good possibility. Logan warned me about that, but I was like, yeah, it'll be fine. And then I kept going. Because <clears throat> the shackles do stick out pretty far. Yeah. Mm, that's a good possibility. The sound of this, though, was really cool. Just uh -huh. <clears throat> time to smack something. Um, oh. The doctor is in. Hello. Doctor runs with scissors. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's a lot better. Scott, I think the axle kits for the F10s are... Like one nineteen a piece, I think. I think so. I just ordered a couple of them, but I don't know what the. Which is if you're gonna buy them for aluminum housings, that's the best deal versus trying to piece it together. Yeah, don't piece them together. If you can buy used axles or something, <coughs> um, or I think if we were gonna do it like this, there's a lot of ifs. If we did, if we could make a class out of it, I could literally buy. X amount of axles and X amount of housings, and I could give everybody a decent discount being a vendor and make it more affordable. But doing one set here, one set there, like that's what that's what I'm worried about. Is this is going to have to be a whole like? So we need to talk at yeah. talk later because <clears throat> this is. <clears throat> uh. Logan said, could a person use Amazon Axle that looks similar to the F10T? Can if you want to. Yeah, I mean, at, at that point, you could... At, for me personally, I'm going to build the truck for the leaf springs to be where the leaf springs are. Yeah. If you put whatever the hell axles, if you want to put 10 twos under it and figure that out, you're more than welcome to. If you want to buy F10Ts, you can do that too. Um, I don't know how you'd run 10 twos now that I think about the offset. They just need to be an offset front. You put 10 threes under it. I know they make leaves. Put a 10 2 skid in it. Right. You can do whatever you Run want. Run a 3 gear. Yeah. Because the mounts are all the same. So. But like Rob said, he likes realism. Right. Is what the whole We Rock is about. So, I mean. That just all depends on everything getting together and jiving. But I mean, we, like, so like we bought the RC four wheel drive Bill Steens. Right. Which. <clears throat> No offense to RC four wheel drive, but that is the most overpriced shock for what yeah, it is. They're not great. Uh, although I don't think they're leaking. No, I haven't had. Knock on wood. I don't have a lot of fluid in mine, but mine haven't leaked. Mine are. You're going to come down tomorrow. There's going to be four puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Fair Realism. enough. Realism, yeah. <clears throat> so you could, I mean, you use the Amazon. Leaf springs. You buy the twenty dollar Amazon shocks. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't think there's any performance gain. Not because, after buying them. I don't. Because in. Well, like I mean, I think you'd have to limit. You wouldn't be able. To, I mentioned you could run big bores earlier. Right. But you're gonna hit them. I think though. After. Well, the realism wouldn't be there. <clears throat> no, there's that too. There's that, but I'll, actual we rock. You couldn't run a. Shock that was valvable or valvable. Yeah. Oh, it had to be a, a mm -hmm. standard shock. Yeah. But <clears throat> I mean, you could valve these the way you wanted to. You could drill out the holes and the pistons and everything like that if you were really trying to fine tune it. Oops, sorry, that was me. Oh, yeah. Me. And Rob said there's Amazon. Yeah, hundred percent. So you could. We didn't build these thinking about doing that. So. Are you buffing? No, I'm woken up a little bit. No. I'm just, oh, sorry. <clears throat> I did some uh, workouts with the kids today. We took them to the park, and I did the uh, teeter-totter. Yeah. And uh, so I had one kid on each side, and then I had some random little girl sit over with Holden, but Reese and the little one were over here, 
so we were very unweighted and I was doing like downward presses mm-hmm. and I could definitely feel where I ripped my shoulder a couple weeks or a couple years ago that uh that didn't feel so great but it's a good time I <clears throat> then I took like a three hour nap because I was I played on the playground for like four uh, I don't know about an hour and a half <clears throat> are you buffering are you on the wiffy I was like I said, use some RC four wheel drive, Yoda two axles, snap axle tubes, hardcore realism. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, you, that's that's kind of the nice thing about it, and what we're thinking if we did proceed with this is you could. I'll yeah. build, I'll build you the base. You do you finish it however you want to. Yeah. The other thing is the people that would actually do these aren't worried about the. Twenty dollars shocks versus the yeah. seventy dollars shocks. Yeah. I mean, if I'd have known then what I know now, as far as the shock quality and probably not making any bit of a difference over Amazon, I'd have saved the money. Honestly, if I would have known that the stickers weren't going to stick on the damn yeah, things, yeah, that really <laughs> pissed me off. I spent double the price for the damn stickers, <laughs> and then, we're being honest, and they don't stick. And the little bit better uh, bottom rods or yeah. like rod ends that look more real yeah they are i mean they're decent but they i wouldn't i wouldn't say there's any advantage to it this looks so much better on pickles yeah why does mine look so weird compared to yours though because this is either longer or shifted back Mm. yeah i think it's longer too where your whole cage is shifted I don't know. I think the whole cage. Are you wider forward or not? No. Should be right around the same width. Should be right around seven. I might sell mine and then uh, just rebuild another one. Now that I look at it, because I like how Jordan's Jordan's a good over a quarter of an inch shorter in the front than me. And I learned a lot of things on mine too. What time is it? The the pit bull tires. Is it eight twenty two there? Yeah. Is that the tiger of choice? Uh, they are a tiger of choice. As far as the height goes, they're nice. I don't know how they work yesterday. I was really happy with them. They worked for sure. Yeah. The. And I think we've talked about this since we started building these. I wanted a tire that was around during the F toys. Yeah. And I wanted a tire that works. And doing both was narrowed it down to about uh, <laughs> the pit bulls. Yeah, um, I think the four three swampers would be a cool tire on it too. They would. I just don't know in a G eight how they would work compared to these pit bulls. I really, I watched yours work yesterday, and I think I was I was very happy. I mean, my score on the uh, <laughs> overall was mid back. You had a hundred. Nick, Nick was like, "I beat Jordan." <laughs> yeah. Well, there was he, also he did good yesterday. He was actually listening. That's good. You were also what? There were a couple uh, hands hands of God that I'm like new build. I'm not. Yeah. I'm taking all the pain <laughs> off of it. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. For his first time out. That is one thing that I definitely saw is that uh, when this thing rolls over, there's no there's no getting it back. They're just lay lay on the top because they're so flat and they just <laughs> sit there. And I was like, cool. Ooh. Rob said spec tire. Good. You could have a couple different tire options we could use. I'm okay with that. <laughs> so then you can create a band list for, for these No, it'd be, it'd be just like the We Rock stuff. Like you can only run um, a licensed, licensed tire. tire. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Like I said, that said, I've never used the Yoda 2 axles, so I don't know how bad they are. I don't think the axle housing is that bad. It's the shafts. It's the shafts that are garbage. I know RC Everyday says something about the CVD upgrade is whatever, but I I don't trust those things. I think you could do a lot of different point values for did you use metal axle t- uh, axle tubes and housings you know do you have do you have a weight limit i don't did you weigh yours yet i have not i didn't either 
Rob said spec tire, then it doesn't matter the compound as much. True, true. That is very true. I, you know, so there weren't really that many rules on tires, mm -hmm. even tire size. Yeah, I looked or, at that, but they said most of them were using 40s. 37s or 39s. Yeah. I think 40 was the tallest that a couple of them said they were using. But to look accurate, I think that four, 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 three, four, yeah. five. I think this looks good. <clears throat> the forties were for people that did head and cams. Yeah, yeah they yeah, could yeah. turn the tire. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing <laughs> is we use the Fusion SE, and so if you made that mandatory, that was what seventy. There's seventy bucks. Yeah, yeah seventy bucks. Sixty bucks. I yeah. think it's sixty for the twelve hundreds. Yeah. Six, is it? 69 and 79. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, I don't really But you can get them from A main on sale and it saves your taxes or shipping or something like there that. There you go. See? That's how I did mine. <clears throat> so. Um, Which I think if we did it, I would probably make your heads cams. Oh, we have to run 1200 now? Do the 1200. Uh, yeah. That's stupid. Stop jumping our full motor. Yeah. <laughs> It's that time of the evening. Nothing. I didn't realize how much this ring actually clamps down the tire and yeah. actually cuts it because it's trying to suck it in at the same time. Oh, really? So yeah, I got a bunch of... Dude, what is with these things? Uh, Rob says then... Oh, never mind, I already did it. William Chandler says the Phoenix OG kit tire. <laughs> oh, God. I'm out. Wow. I'm out. No, no, thank you. Uh, blind guy says 1800 kV. Come on, a turbo 22 RE is better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can run turbo. There you go. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the more I talk about it, the more I want to do it. Yeah. What, uh, a turbo? No, just push um, push the class. Yeah, build, build them and. <clears throat> I agree. Because just. Like the picture that we posted, or they posted yesterday of all the trucks sitting there. Mm -hmm. Just picture like About 8, 10, 12 of mm -hmm. that. <laughs> Just. So we want a spec class, it would be fun. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's what it was in one to one, so it might as well. Yeah. I'd say put out two or three options so for. Tires be like pit bulls, the four three swampers, <coughs> maybe the Toyota. No, yeah, you can run Toyos. It, it depends on how much we wanted to talk about time time period correct kind of stuff. So yeah, Rob said when a spec class it would be fun. Blind guy says fine a cam. William Chandler says, do you guys see how much the replacement Red Cat Hobby Wing Fusion is? One hundred four ninety nine. Holy crap! Why? Yeah, why? It's stupid. No. I was honestly I was trying to look for that the other day to see if they were being red cat. I was like I was like, oh maybe that's only a fifty dollar motor then. Yeah. Well, I, I saw Exocage said something about it being um the RTR version or something. I think that was Exocage. Yeah, RTR. Said the, the RTR version of the fusion. Like what the hell's the difference of it then? I haven't seen any difference. Right. Yet. I didn't see the difference. But I think it didn't it say like <clears throat> didn't a sticker doesn't it say RTR motor or something on it? Or RTR Fusion. That's how they have it labeled. They have it labeled as the RTR Fusion. But it's a certain KV, right? I think it's the 1800. 1800. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, Dustin said, quick question. Do you guys know the rules for the trucks that beat the creek? Also, where is this place and is it open anytime? What's it cost? Dude. No. Less tuning and <laughs> no. different sticker. <laughs> nope, just no. Not doing it. Scott said the BEZ is not adjustable. On the RTR? On the RTR, I guess. And it's more expensive? All right. Uh, William said that it's $69.99 from A-Main. So that's the regular ones then. Yeah. That's... Uh, less tuning and different sticker, says Rob. Why? Who do that one? So even tell the guy just said I heard it has no programming, so it's basically you run it the way it is. That's that's a no brainer to swap it out for one that you can tune. Yeah. Which I'm 
I don't know if you changed anything. I changed the BEC in this, and yeah, like, that's all I did. Good enough. Yeah, I think that's what you really have to do. You can adjust your drag break, like how soon you want it to kick in. Yeah, I was already like, like a four. So the BEC set it seven four. Mm-hmm. So no, it's not set it six. No, he's saying oh the RTR. Uh, Rob says they don't want you to burn out the stock servo. Dustin says, since it silence, it seems like that is like every person perfume. lately. Or cologne, let me look. What's your... Oh, it may have been <laughs> sitting against her shirt. <laughs> I was like, do you have smelly milk? Yeah, smell my cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, this milk smells weird. <laughs> oh, it does. It smells like her all the way around. There we go. This is a clean side. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, she's early. Yeah, she's early. She's on it. If you are just joining us tonight, 8.30 is dessert time. <laughs> yeah. You've never been here before. Um, so. Dustin said, it seems like every post here lately. I think people are stuck on, if there's an event, it's got to be a comp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think part of the problem is there are there is a comp at Beat the Creek, but it's not the event. That's not the main that, like attraction of the event. Mm-hmm. The the rules. Thing. Ugh. What? Caldwell Cross said, "My cost to get to Beat the Creek, just under three k." Good God. Jeez. Ouch. It's worth it. I bet my total cost is, I don't know. If you factor in buying the Suburban, my total cost to get there is about three grand too. Yeah. I don't think I count so, does it? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Logan said, what I see on the F-Toy rules, it says any tire size or brand, any wheel, <clears throat> internal or external b locks are permitted. Mm-hmm. The only reason we went with the SSD Steelys is just because they're cheap. It was designed to be a budget friendly class, so of the wheels that are available, steel beadlocks make made the most most sense. And we both had them. No, I bought them. Oh, you did? I thought we both had them. I know I had them. I have two sets. Um, I think they look good. They look very at home. I was trying to put wheels on money today. I have a set of wheels that look really good on them, but the color kind of clashes with the pink. Yeah. <clears throat> if I had black housings, I probably would have done it. So I th- kind of leaning towards um, like the classic Toyota like three stripe thing, mm-hmm. and just doing that. White. I don't know what. I need a third color. I was gonna do pink, yellow, mm. and something else. Hmm. I like where that's heading. That gives me an idea, for sure. And then I was gonna do a number, like back here in the back corner. I put numbers on mine. <clears throat> yeah, do numbers. I need to figure out a winch. You gonna make that mandatory too? I don't see why. We never use them. Did they have did they have winches on the real ones? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in scale stuff, like we never use them in scale stuff. <clears throat> Even for doing like bonus lines, it doesn't make sense. I, mean, I guess it technically would if you got given somebody else a really close. That was the only way to win, but yeah. Because what's a winch five? Depends where you go. We only place that's important. Five. Yeah. So winching through a bonus gets you a plus five. So if you and I were 
basically on a road to be tied. A couple of reverses off of each other. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I don't know where you guys left off. Uh, we we didn't. Blind talk. guy. Yeah, blind guy. <clears throat> we really didn't talk about a whole lot after you left. <clears throat> blind guy said, "Red Cat's making a valiant attempt <clears throat> at their releases. Can't say the same about other brands, not including Vanquish in that." Haha. Uh -huh. What? I don't know what that is. No, I agree. I think they did. I mean, we're basically saying that Red Cat's like coming out swinging with yeah. all their oh, 100 percent yeah. current stuff and. Nobody else is really doing that. Yeah. He said he's not including Vanquish in that, but I mean outside of the the carbon I would Yeah. I would include them in that. And yeah. I saw I saw someone saying this like Red Cat is one of those companies that really seems to be listening to their people. Mm -hmm. I said that too. I mean you come out with <clears throat> a brushless crawler truck that's a cab only with you know that technology. Carbon fiber, bucks. Carbon fiber rails has a Ford motor mount. Yeah. Well not necessarily a Ford motor mount, but it's got the axial style forward motor mount kind mm -hmm. of thing. Like, it's a nice truck. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of them this summer, which is I think so, which is fine. Which is good. Mm -hmm. You know, if it brings more people out and, you know, we, we can figure it out. Ugh. after What? Rob said, I have a set of flat earth axles and 105s that look good on that. Do it. You won't. Do it. Just upset the people. So then winch is two, two you have points. To paint your, you have to paint your chassis the same color, though. Yes. has to be old man tan panels and dark earth cage. Yuck. <clears throat> I hate it. <laughs> I hate everything about it. <clears throat> I was very excited. Rob said, the fuck I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Awesome. He said, "Winch is two points, and two points is a lot less than twenty point hand of God." Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because that's the the one thing that we noticed yesterday is that roof is extremely flat. Yeah, it does nothing, and if it rolls over, all twelve hundred kV doesn't really. Nope. <laughs> we <laughs> didn't even really rock it. Yeah. I tried everything, and I got weighed in my front wheels. I was, and it was just like. Said, was that was that steering? Was that was that this steering? Yeah, that was the steering. Yeah. <laughs> Scott said Red Red Cat will sell a shitload of those Fusion RTRs. Oh, 100 Guarantee it. Um, I even said, I don't. I never got into Red Cat crawlers and stuff. For me, Red Cat has always been tainted because of where they started 20 years ago, rebranding Chinese garbage. Like those nitro, you remember those like eight scale nitro buggies and stuff they were trying to push a hobby channel? Yeah. They've really turned themselves around and I'll give them credit for that. Is that the rampage? <clears throat> Something like that. I don't, who knows? It was probably the Hey Obawa or whatever it is. Well, the Gen 7 was garbage too. Gen 7 was garbage, correct. But when they started with the low riders and I saw where that was going, I was like, oh, this is, you know, like they're doing a pretty good job. They released the COE and that trailer and then the Ascent and I was like, Picking it up a little bit. Yeah, they're going places. Yeah, they're they're definitely they're doing stuff. It's taking them a minute, but good for them, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> got a big whiff of Haley. <laughs> 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 Although if we if we do a class with these, I'd I almost have to swap swap out servos. Yeah. The fun of the slow servo was one thing, but I mean, but part of that is like, don't they use the stock like steering box and? I don't think there's rules on power that, is steering. It? Yeah, you can't have. See, maybe maybe the sluggish steering is part of the whole realism. I can't do it. <laughs> no. What servos in yours? Triple four. I thought about just putting a BEC on it and <laughs> doing the normal nine volts. Let her sing. <laughs> I want to see him go, wow, wow. Yeah, there were a couple times that I was moving the steering back and, and forth. It was just going <laughs> <to> like, <laughs> okay, so I saw that and I, was, I, I looked at it. A, the servo is not real fast on the voltage we had. But B, the leaf springs also take a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. So you're like, you can see the arm going wing, wing, and everything's just like, 
It was fun. Is it like one of those old style like Dubro servo savers? Yeah. Plastic yeah. arm, like, yeah, like okay, that. maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I will say the number of times that I was like, well, this thing's about to roll. Yeah. And then and it, didn't. it just kept going. So it's not as top heavy as you thought it was going to be. They're a lot more stable than I thought it would be. I thought mine was super stable, but I also had shorter tires than Jordan, and he's got a flat skid, which I've fixed half of so far, and I think I'm going to do a flat skid for sure. Because the mounting everything lower was, I think, probably better for center of gravity, but I got caught up on that skid a lot. <clears throat> do you know one thing that... I that you did that I didn't do and I was like, yeah, I don't I don't need it. And then I sat there hung up for forever yesterday on the rear shackle mount or the mm -hmm. not the shackle mounts, the front mounts. Oh yeah. Because this side's fine with the anti wrap, it doesn't hit. Right. But this side's completely open. Yeah. <clears throat> that was another map proofing. And I watched it and it just dug in. So you can see Oh. Yeah, so I like your bracing. Yes. Yeah, thank you. So this is Jordan's. It has this gap here, and uh, I knew that I was going to be very rough on that mount. So I went ahead and put a tube going from the frame to that mount. Uh, not only does it help it slide, but it gives that mount a lot more security. So, so you make a standard cage, and then you make a map proof stage one. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's going to be a stage one, stage two. <clears throat> I mean. I could definitely see some more things that I would do to it if it was faster and wasn't on leaves, where I could drive a little harder. So if it wasn't an F-Toy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as far as a cage goes, if it wasn't an F-Toy, I see a lot of things I could do differently that I would add in. Oh, for sure. I would put a bar between here and the shock tower to hold these out. I probably would have put bars here and here, and then I'd put one here just to kind of brace everything up a little better. <clears throat> uh, Rob, I'm running the Reefs triple five. Matt has the Reefs triple four. I almost ran a triple five. I had it in my hand, and I was like, that seems like too much. I got that from my friend Kidder. Mm. D Stan says, shit, I'm super late. It's okay. He says, how was the weekend for you fellas? It was good. It was pretty good. We went crawling in the tundra yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Al Castro said, did you see they're working on a dancing bed lowrider? I've watched Jeffries for a while, <clears throat> and I knew that in October. Um, whenever I went to Vegas, they were talking about it, and uh, he, it wasn't necessarily a don't tell anybody, but it was like a, you know, one of the things we're doing. But, um, and I, I'm excited to see it because now that I have the COE and I have the... Um, the Monte Carlo, I'm pretty excited to see that. Just because that's just kind of a part of the car culture that I like. By the way, some of you don't know I have a COE or whatever. Um, I do. You will see it tomorrow on the Not Mailbox Monday video. At, uh, Mailbox Tuesday? It's a Mailbox Tuesday, yeah. So while you're on YouTube for various other reasons, watching various other creators that make things on Tuesday, go ahead and watch my video as well. It'll be out. It's a long one. I'll give you that much. But I, she, how she said that it's longer than a lot of videos I've ever made for sure and put out. <clears throat> Hopefully it's good. Hopefully everybody likes it. <laughs> I rolled it a few times. <laughs> Just a few. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I like yours better. Me too. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot building this, though. I will say that. Yeah. I think I should have worried more about approach angle than departure angle back here and moving these around. If I could move this whole thing about a quarter of an inch back like yours, I think I would do that. <clears throat> and then rear tire would be very close, though, so maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. Just shrink that down a little bit. There you go. Shrink here. I could always do that too. Yeah. I mean, obviously not with that one, but I mean I could, but I won't. I could debraze all of it, 
and then just move everything back and then rebraze it all. Uh, Dustin said, do my cables make an appearance on tomorrow's episode? No. That is... Maybe. I can't remember. Maybe. Al said he likes the bloopers. Good. I'm glad. Eric was uh, surprised that there was no Mailbox Monday today. Yeah, it's very expensive to make Mailbox Mondays every week. So sometimes it doesn't happen. There are a couple loaded in my phone that just aren't done yet. So... Logan said he rolled it too. He was trying to be careful. My bad. That was funny. You walked over back over to your table or whatever. So we just kind of sat there. And so he's like, I can drive this. <laughs> and like, <laughs> instead of just driving it off, he proceeded on through like. I, I told oh, him he could drive it. 10 or 15 gates. I was like, it's fun, isn't it? I said, do you want to drive it? He goes, no, 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 it's fine. I don't need to drive it. So, okay. So I just left it with him. <clears throat> you sold the Capra. Huh? <laughs> That's how you sold the Capra. That's how I sold the Capra. <clears throat> so. uh, Dakota said he spent majority of the weekend cutting the shit out of a Nico hard body he picked up. Yep, saw that. He's the one that bought my recluse. I know. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you knew that or not. I, he posted pictures of it, and I, mm-hmm. I was like, uh, step one of knowing <laughs> how, to, how to tell your Glenn's friend. Yeah. Yep. Good for you, though. Good for you. I. <clears throat> I do think it's cool whenever I sell people stuff and then they proceed to change things and make it their own. I think that's super cool. That's a really cool, uh, I don't know, like call it feeling, but it's, it's cool to watch. Yeah. You know. I mean, unless you like cut the whole thing apart and start over, and then I'm like, okay, well, apparently my shit was ugly, but whatever. But, but I do like the, I did think it was funny. It's, it was funny. That's a brand new 10 3 body that I cut the, hood off of and bought a whole body for and you were just like nope <laughs> I was like okay you do you you paid for it Scott said he watched your scale garage video again ended up buying one today Scott what Griffin, Griffin. yeah 100% worth it <clears throat> 100% I love that thing it changes this is mine right uh, yeah it changes everything about posting pictures, posting things for sale. I need to clean mine out. It's got random shit on it yeah. right now. I cleaned mine out the other day. Hey, you guys would both be very surprised at my workbench right now. I cleaned it off. <coughs> you or did she go out? There? I cleaned it off. Dakota said the F toys looked sweet in the picture you seen on the old Facebook. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. If you want one, I know a guy building them. Uh, yeah, we're apparently going to build a Jordan. whole class worth. Jordan's going to build a bunch. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about work on quitting for the next yeah. <laughs> month. <laughs> I'd have to build a lot of them a week to do that, but let's see. Go there. Hell yeah. Oh, there we go. A little bit. There. <clears throat> So, what did I say it was? About three inches of travel. So, I don't know what. Two plus about, yeah, about 2.75 inches or so. I think, roughly. Uh, barely tucks. Barely touches. I've been fine. Did you notice how much effect steering had on these things when you yes. were driving? Yeah, I did. That was one thing that kind of caught me off guard a little bit. That was kind of wild. Um... Tell your work to hook up my power. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, easy. I can't do that. <laughs> so I don't have that <clears throat> tie. Yeah, that was one thing that I learned uh, as I was driving it was if you have the wheels locked one way, it kind of loads it, and then when you let go, it unloads that side. So if you were, like, turning right on an incline towards the right, it would kind of stick until you let the tires go, and then it unloaded that whole spring and just... Kip, flip. Totally different driving experience than a coil truck. For it sure. was awesome. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> it was different than a tuber, but also kind of the same, and then also different than a coil truck altogether. Engelman Craig, 1974. What's up, fellas? Hello. Welcome. 
don't think I've seen that name before. Well, I don't see any names, so I guess that doesn't really count, but yeah. I, I don't recognize it. Okay. Where are you from, Engelman? Dakota said, the 10-3 body is super sick, but that's your truck. Oh, no. oh I agree. I have such a hard time leaving things alone, so I had to make it my own. I still have all the panels, so if mine looks like shit, I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> Good. He's got a backup plan. Yeah. Uh, that middle panel between the hood and the dash, that's just a piece of Lexan that I use the heat gun on, so um, if you end up doing anything like that because I believe there's a bar in front of it where the hood was attached so if you need something like that then that's all that is um because <clears throat> I had a gap there and I was like well, that looks dumb as shit so I filled it he said he always wanted to try a leaf truck seems so cool uh I've hated every leaf spring truck I've ever owned mm -hmm, mm -hmm. until I built this mm -hmm. Or, uh, totally agree. <coughs> like 100% totally agree. <clears throat> and we're flexed out, bud. We're doing big work. We're like four wheel jamboree flexed out. Yeah, you're. Yep. You're at the max. This tire has very little weight on it. This one can go down much more either. <clears throat> Which you'll get a little bit more flex because you have more to go, more to add to the interior and stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and maybe a little heavier. Yeah. yeah. See, if I went to the bottom, bottom out of the shocks, I've got more shock travel. I just don't have any travel to go as far as right now. And by the time I break all the leaf springs in, I will have bent them at least four times. And they should. Yeah, I should do better too. Maybe, maybe it's because you didn't break them in properly. Ah, and that's I didn't why. Do that. <laughs> yeah. He said he's spent all day bending styrene over over that bar and finally got it fitted earlier. Good. Good. NorCal RC, how's everyone doing? Hey there. Good. When mounting an extra cab, uh, do you have to use the four mounts? In can I get by with two mounts with body posts in the rear? Yikes. Uh, knowing how the extra cab with the doors opening is, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um, it's put all very, four very thin right there. Yeah, I don't think that would make it long. Um, definitely wouldn't. I wouldn't push that. I'd put the extra two in there because your holes are there <clears> anyway. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust just two screws holding the front of that body on. Yeah, no. Oh, what is there? It's right here. Oh, hey. I have my scale. Oh. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, these are mine, too. <clears throat> oh, hey, you can flip it upside down. It's a roof. It won't go anywhere. Yeah, that's definitely. Uh, that is for sure. Tip forward. Oh, can okay. I have two... Some rings? Let's see. This may... This you may want some tires? No, this, this uh, is probably... Sir, in the end. Those are tars. Okay. No, no, that'll work. Pound an ounce, because we're in America. Yeah. Ain't no goddamn Canadian, that's for sure. Doing. Oh. So as it sits right now, I'm at six pounds, four ounces. See, and Rob already said before you even measured that, he said, so probably do a seven pound minimum weight. I have a battery in mine. You guys are going to say, I, don't, I didn't have a battery. <clears throat> but I have interior. And I'm at 614.4. So I'm literally two ounces away from, but I also have weight in my wheels and I have a battery. So actually I should probably unhook that battery now that I look at it. I'm still connected to the hook today. <laughs> yeah. I turned it off and then just stopped doing stuff. I need to come up with a better battery mount as well. I guess ultimately if, if we're building all the same chassis, yeah. Oh, they're not going to vary much by an ounce or two, depending on... No, the only thing that would vary was when, what, <clears throat> what axles and driveline people put in them. And no. if they were stage one or stage two. Because if you were doing... <laughs> yeah, Matt. If you were doing, you know, plastic F10s and a three-gear, <clears throat> then obviously that'd be lighter than what's going on there. And with the leaves, you're not going to want to go, you're not going to want a light truck. Yeah, yeah. 
No, that's true. <coughs> it's going to depend more on where than what the weight is. <clears throat> oh, shit. Scott said, well, let me know when to PayPal my deposit in. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> the shitty thing is, how, how long do we have till Beat Street? A month, basically. So we have the next month where we need to be building F toys and making money <laughs> to go to to go to Beat Creek. Creek. And I'm almost positive I'm going to work this weekend, so because it's the end of the month and they'll need to get stuff out, and uh, that pays more than an F toy by far. But Rob said, "So yeah, same as we rock and do seven Tell pounds." Him, so you got other people? No, <laughs> you know. You know what that cost me? <laughs> I lost a lot of money this weekend by playing with toy trucks. Uh, yes, Dakota, they're leafed front and rear. And it's always optional, by the way. <clears throat> but if you wanted to link one in the front, you can get your bad mammer gamer like this. It's a, uh, quite a mammer gamer. Yeah. I brought my two <coughs> latest pick em up mobiles. Hell yeah, brother. Back does nothing, front does all the twisting. You think this needs bigger tires too? No. No? You think it's good? Like that? I mean, unless you're going to. I don't know why, but I am obsessed with the 445 hike right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to put them on everything. No, I think everything. Everything. I think four one nines look good. Yeah. He built it on the four three swampers, and it looked pretty good. But I just feel like maybe they'd be a little large. I want to cut these fenders off for these flares, but I feel like maybe that'd be too much. I wouldn't. I'd leave them. Yeah, I think the fronts may have to be choppied. I mean, you could. Yeah, you could kind of comp cut it a little <clears> bit. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think I could take them all the way off. Logan says he's off Thursday through Sunday. That doesn't help me. If I don't work this weekend, I could definitely... I'm busy this weekend. <clears throat> yeah, your brother doing brother yeah. things. <clears throat> brother from the same mother things. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dakota said that thing is so sick. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, uh, I bought this from a guy that makes trucks. Tell me if that um, foam's backwards. The foam is backwards? I don't think so. It feels stiffer on the inside. Isn't the stiffer supposed to be on the outside? No, it's supposed to be on the inside. So when you go up and you can like Hook grab, grab it onto a ledge. Mm -hmm. So is that one backwards in? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. I just throw them in there. I don't even look at them. I'll say I'd. I mean, I got one of each now, so one of these is wrong. I mean, <laughs> you got both. Yeah. <clears throat> it's it's <laughs> um, but thank you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I bought this from uh, Merchant Metal Fab. What body is that? It's a Pajero, and it's narrowed and pinched and all that stuff. So it's been pinched in the front, um, and he did all that work. It was very... The chassis was the expensive part. The actual literal chassis that it's on, it's on a uh, NWSD Brat. Um, and then uh, he did all the metal work, and it was very worth it. And then he told me how much it would be to also do the body for me. And I was like, let's do that. Because it'd take me a minute to do. The front's the hard part. The one thing I do like better is when he did Dana's, he cut the uh, headlights out and then had the grill go inside to side. And in mine, <clears throat> he cut the center of the grill out and brought it together that way where I still have headlights. Yeah. And I like that a lot better. I don't make it do wheelies. So I went, ah, Bob. <laughs> Carolina squat. Yeah, boy. Tooted. Uh, NorCal said, so if I need the four mounts, do I need the rear body posts? Also, I have to make mounts as it's for S or a 10-3 base camp builder's kit. Uh, does Shrink not make mounts for that? I would assume they would. I think Shrink does. Shrink and Squirrel. And I think most of the time Shrink includes the rear. Yeah. 
the rear bed mount. Yeah. So shrink should make the mounts to go from the side of the chassis to the side of the body. And then if anything goes on in the back, they'll have like a little standoff and then a pad of some sort or whatever to, uh, to do that. You like it, don't you? It's going to get another leaf, I think. Rob says he should have kept those axles. Sucks to suck. <laughs> <laughs> NorCal says they do not make them. He messaged him. Really? Did you try Squirrel? Squirrel RC? Squirrel mount? It's RC? Something like that? Or IERC? IERC makes them. Yeah. The shrink the one that's normally <clears throat> in uh, eBay? Mm hmm. Yeah, so I thought. They got about 587 listings for mm -hmm. all of them. Yep. Yeah, boy. Look at that. I'm going to get all that out of it. IERC is out of stock. Oh, it says well, Logan. At least you know they make them, though. I mean, you can mm -hmm. email them or whatever and say, hey, how long is it going to be? I wouldn't. I wouldn't drill holes in a hard body to mount it, for one, unless it's just a straight up, like, class one comp truck. Do they not have holes in the bed already? I don't. Like the TF2 does. I don't think so. Mine does not. Yeah. See, mine only has, I use the two holes on each side that hold my ex crew cab. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they have the extra cab in the bed. Because the extra cab and the Forerunner are made the same to where... That door opens and the rocker is literally like that tall. And that's the only thing that goes along the bottom under that door. It, and it doesn't have a connection between that and like the floor. So it's just this tiny little piece and it's just hanging out out there. Are all the extra cabs <coughs> uh, movable door? I thought so. Is that it? I didn't realize all of them were. The 80, like 85 extra cabs? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure all the doors open on those. Really? I'm pretty sure. <coughs> Dakota said he wants to get a short wheelbase trail style truck. He knows the one tenth WPL Jimny or Jimmy Jimny whatever it is is kind of junk, but the size is really good. Um, what you element, should have done. He is, needs to pick up that new element. Yeah, element makes a one twelfth scale that is actually one tenth scale, and it's a samurai. Well, it's technically a bushido, but yeah, because um, <clears throat> the one twelfth scale actually scales out to. About like one, I think it was one nine five or something, because I did the math, um, and it's actually a lot closer to one ten scale because the one ten scale Bushido is friggin' enormous and is more like six scale because it looks better with an SEX six next to it, because um, Samurais are not even remotely that big. You should have taken that hard body, body the TJ body that too, and built you one like Clint's. Yeah, that too. There's lots of options. I mean, or you could just buy another body. I, I'd buy a new Bright instead of the Nico, personally. But I like them better. Um, Logan said only the front door is open on the extra cab, and only has holes on the rocker panels. So that's what I said. Right. Just making sure we're on the same page. William says the element is on next on his list to buy. Yeah, I like that thing a lot. <clears throat> um, I've definitely thought about it for sure. I'd like to see it just to see how close it actually is to the old scale. Yeah, the uh, the old Suzuki's, the the Simos. Yeah. Well, I mean, they were on twelve scale barrage chassis. That's what that was made for. So I mean, it has to be. Yeah, because the tag on the one I have in the bag. Mm -hmm. This is ten inch. Says barrage right mm -hmm. on. Because I think the wheelbase on that uh, associate is like 9.98 or something. Yeah. I mean, that's literally this exact same. It'd just be down to the width and the actual, like, sizing scale of everything. But I think they look killer. Coda said, I was curious if that 112th element would be closer to 110th with that body. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> that's one thing that I think is really getting away from companies now is the scale. Actual scale. Actual scale. Because they're calling everything 10 scale, basing it on a wheelbase size scale, as opposed to what the vehicle actually looks like at that size. A Samurai should be nowhere near that size of 10 scale. No, not even close. <laughs> samurai and a Chevy truck should not be the yeah, same. Yeah, they should not be the same <laughs> wheelbase. That's, it, they look stupid, and it can be whatever, but 
being as a person taking pictures for and my OCD in general, but if we were taking pictures for Instagram and things like that, you have a Bushido and a TF2 K5 right next to each other and they're the same damn size. And oh, the Bushido would be bigger. Yeah, and you well, you, and you try and get down low to like make them all look realistic. They look ridiculous because they're they're not they shouldn't be that close in size. Rob said the Axial CJ, which is another yeah. one. Yeah. The Axial CJ is enormous for what it should look like. Yeah, it should be Pajero size. Yeah. <clears throat> the CJ's the actual CJ, is that the same size as like the Mashigan? Because I know the Mashigan was slightly bigger too. The Mashigan's freaking enormous. The Mashigan's uh, one seventh, seventh, I think, is what it scales out to be. <clears throat> you know, if you want to call one ninth scale one tenth, like kind of play with that a little bit. But like you were saying, the CJ, the. Uh, but but the that's CJ. like actually used to have the. Um, like a 12 inch wheelbase, yeah, or 11. The dingo. But I wonder if that wasn't from people going, I have a dingo and I bought Scorpion Links because it said axial and now nothing fits. Like, I wonder if they had that problem. They're like, the hell with it, we can't do this anymore. Which, I mean, RC4 wheel drive has the same thing, they've got the short wheelbase, the regular wheelbase, and the long wheelbase TF2s. So, I don't know. I, I also realize. That a lot of people are new when they buy things like that. So you can't expect someone that has limited knowledge in RC stuff in general to buy a 12.3 or non 12.3 crawler, I guess, and then buy links for it and be precise on what the Because hell, I, I mess it up half the time. You know, that's why I don't run a lot of aftermarket links because. Like, how long does it need to be eye dying? I'm like, shit, I don't know. Link. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> I just start throwing links I on put it. the rod in there and I <laughs> cut it here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of, and I even made a video about how to make links, but a lot of times, until you have something physically holding the axle there, the links are not correct. Yeah. I almost always go too long on purpose, um, but sometimes it's almost right, and then sometimes it's very, very, it's a quarter of an inch off. Because you can measure from one to the other, but if you don't have it centered, then you're measuring a straight line instead of a diagonal line, and it's all, you know, that's a hard, hard game to play. Rob has thought about the element for the YJ that he has. That'd be cool. Or you could just sell me the YJ body, and that'd be cool. Instead of a diagonal oh, God. What are you doing? I turned the volume all the way up. Why? I have no idea how I did that. <laughs> oh, I guess I, I was pushing on it. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet your finger had a lot to do with it. Well, the, volu the volume's down here. So oh, goodness. I about lost a uh, leaf spring screw, too. Uh, anyway. I should have not tied to these. Now, are your, are your... Oh, God damn. This thing's... What the hell? What's going on? Is one end of your shackle a bigger hole than the other end? It used to be. Because I notice a lot of those. I drilled mine out. If somebody was looking at Amazon, <laughs> I noticed one end I has a it. bigger hole. Yes. Yeah. Top ones. Yeah. They all come. They come from the both side. Okay. Yeah. So, but now isn't like instead of running because I noticed some of the kits they just run a standard three mil bolt through it, but then some have that shouldered right. bolt. But not all of them do. The ones that has a so usually one side is three millimeter and the other one is the shouldered. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> but they only have one, and that makes your bolts go the same way, and that made me cringe. So I drilled <laughs> the bottom of all of them out okay. to where the shoulder bolt. Yeah. Plus, so. <clears throat> the shoulder bolt is longer between the the head and the nut than the shackle both sides and the leaf. Okay. So it wouldn't tighten it wouldn't crush up. it. Well, it didn't even come close it was it had a gap so everything was all floppy mm. so i went ahead and drilled them all out that way the shoulder actually goes all the way through Your zip tie. yeah it's fine i mean that's not dude there's already starting to be a, a bend right there yeah i know i was not easy on this yesterday well he was he used the the <laughs> whole cam <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just a three-quarter cam <laughs> i don't know uh Dustin said, it's like when Trax is called the one-tenth summit, one-tenth, yeah. Yeah. actually okay. one-eighth. I mean, you can't even, I don't even know how you scale a basher like that. Like, yeah. That, that. 
But like I said, for the cost of an Axial, get a Vanquish and then pick your own body after. Which is why I have two Vanquish trucks with Axial JL bodies on them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> pick up a... Pick up a used Phoenix, or, I mean, if you want to buy one new, just to know that everything is fresh and new, and then sell the Phoenix body, or sell the Fordyce body, whatever, if yeah. you buy Fordyce, and then just put a body on it. William said the same with the Slash. Yeah, mm-hmm. calling that thing 10th scale is silly, too. Called Across said, build a chassis, find a body, or buy the body and build the chassis? Depends on what you're doing. Yeah. If you're building a scale truck, especially a hard body... Buy the chassis for the body. If you're building a Lexan truck that's going to be like a comp truck, I don't give a shit what I have to cut. It's coming out. Personally. Yeah. You know, as long as the rules allow it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> With my C1, I had to be a little more careful. Um, but that's because you can't really hog out the wheel wells and stuff. But I, I mean, for something like this, you definitely have to buy the chassis around it because this is like a I think stock these are like not even 11 inches they're like 10 and a half or something and this is stretched out so there's no way you could build you couldn't put this on a normal 12.3 like a 10.3 and have it look anything but just completely stupid and ridiculous see I think part of that though is that's first you do the body mods and then you have to build the chassis into it that's the way I do it so you said buy the chassis and then build the body on it. I, I look at it the other way. No, you buy if you have a body, you need to build a chassis around a hard body yeah. like this. Yeah. <clears throat> but this chassis is specifically made for this and the brat. I'm surprised you don't see more brat builds. Just being a small pickup truck. I think you would have it wouldn't make sense because they're so short. Really? Because they're I mean, back to that. I'm pretty sure this is extended. It would be. I'm not sure. I've only seen a couple brats, and I've never really looked at them, looked at them. But you're looking at, okay, for so for class zero, right? Mm-hmm. You're down to uh, not even 11-inch wheelbase for a zero. No, I mean, they'll, they'll turn really well. <laughs> but if you put them up on a big vertical, you know, they're not going to have as much stability. You just got to put a little bit more weight up front. I know. You can do it, but I, I mean, I'm just saying why well, I wouldn't do it. Look, listen, I'm not I'm not trying to start a fight here. No. In- Engelman Craig said, you should see my Limitless Mustang body. That thing is huge. It's 28 by 12. Yeah. Damn. The Arma, but, but that's also 7th scale, right? The Limitless is advertised as 7th scale, so you know it's going to be a big girl. Yeah. They're, they're not right. They're not wrong. They're not. <laughs> they're just not. They're not connected. It's it's okay. Don't try to make sense of what's going on down there right now. I was just trying to decide. You know, what, I was just looking at my servo notes. He says, "Yeah, it's seven scale, one seven. Yeah, and those are big. I want one. I just can't justify it because I don't have anywhere to take it. The road that I live on or the street is so rough that I can't run." On road cars on it. I think they've chip sealed it about 418 times in the last 30 years, so it is not smooth. <clears throat> when in doubt, brass it out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I have one truck that I've done that with. That's that tiny Jeep. Mm-hmm. Well, you had to. You have to. Yeah. Which, if I get my other Class Zero done. And that one, a lot of that will come back off of that guy. Even if he uses a trail truck? Yeah, it doesn't need all that for a trail truck. You don't think so? It makes sense. Well, speaking of, are we taking the F-Toys out on a trail? The BTC? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's probably <laughs> the only... Oh, yeah. That, that and the six, yeah. probably the only two trucks I can run. I'm good with that. Maybe we can do that Thursday. Get a couple trails in on Thursday after we set up that way. Oof. Oof. I'm just thinking that 1200. <laughs> oh, it take forever to get through a trail. <laughs> <laughs> What's the shortest one? Yeah. Screaming. Uh, just take it over the barn. <laughs> yeah. No, because I my luck, I would drop <laughs> it off the top. It should be fine. And come back as a pancake. <laughs> just just testing the cage. Yep. 
Just doing some preliminary testing before we build them for everybody else. Okay. Map proof? No. No. <laughs> barn proof. That's stage three. So, <laughs> stage three is barn proof? Yeah. You like Ralph. Remember Ralph? Yep. The RC crawler? Yep. Ran it over with a truck. Eric, it is the oh, Tamaya? Yes. Pajero yep. body. Highly, <clears throat> highly modified. Yeah. Scott said, I sleep better at night with brass hanging on the pegboard. <laughs> Blind guy said, all my socials are full of the Tyson versus Paul hype. It's getting pretty crazy. What Rogan is saying is awesome. Jake Paul is fucked. He is. He is. <laughs> I, we've talked about this almost every week. I cannot believe he did that. He's screwed either way because you either beat Mike Tyson and you go, oh, he's a 70-year-old man. Actually, he's 56, whatever the hell. You you beat up an old man, older man. I guess he's not old, but for boxing, he's definitely old. Or you get your ass beat by an old man. Like, <laughs> he's screwed either way. The only the only thing that he's coming out on top is he's going to get a bunch of money. That's it. Which, hey, I'll kick the shit out of an old man for a bunch of money or get my ass kicked by an old man with a bunch of money. I don't care. <clears throat> One thing I saw is he's like... I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this to retire Jake Paul. Yeah, I yeah. saw that too. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to hurt him, in all honesty. I think that's what's going to happen. And I'm not a big boxing fan, but like I've said before, yeah, I, I know enough that I don't want Mike Tyson hitting me if he's 20 or if he's 90. I don't want it. Because even a 50% Mike Tyson is going to break my face. Yeah. And what? I was going to say, Dustin said, Piper's done the barn three times and never fell yet. That's awesome. That boy's who, who was it? Uh, Dustin. Or uh, uh, Ronnie's stepson. Uh, Dylan. 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 That dropped it and it landed like directly on the back bumper. Broke the whole rear frame off the TF2. Yeah. Shifted all of it. But the, that truck was busted. He brought it over and he's like, can you fix this? <laughs> we were just like... You're I like, no, but I can sell you this yeah. chassis. I was like, I don't know that literally there's anything left to fix. Right. Just conveniently had a chassis. I sold him for like 10 bucks or whatever it was. I never thought I'd be excited about pit bulls either. Like, hell yeah. <laughs> Got me some pit bulls. Leaf Springs, pit bulls. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. It looks like to make things harder. I don't like to go crawling. I just like to be angry. <laughs> I'm not angry about any of it. I'm not angry either. <clears throat> I'm pretty excited about it. How about Dana White saying Jake is going to fight? Is going to fight Clint Eastwood next if he beats Tyson? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. That's funny. Whatever. Whatever. That's that's all I got to say about it. Now we just make enough stories. I'm gonna fight this guy. I'm gonna, I mean, it is what it is. So if we mention that the the stickers on the shocks don't stick, and they don't stick to anything else either. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine went back to uh, to the sticker sheet. Ah, uh, well, mine are <laughs> on here, so I'm trying to put them on the hood, so at least I can represent a little bit. I did think about using the small stickers for the, uh, like, uh, sponsors mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, I didn't use the big ones to begin with. I used the, like, medium-sized ones. I thought they looked a little better on there, but it doesn't really matter what they look like on the shocks because they don't stay on they there. They don't stay on there. <laughs> <laughs> so. <clears throat> Which really pisses me off because I bought them for that sole purpose mm -hmm. that they were going to say Bilstein on mm -hmm. them. The only thought I had was maybe clear coating them. Like in just clear paint and then seeing if it'd stick to the paint instead of the shiny metal. But uh, I don't I care. thought about a dab of glue on the yeah. back of the sticker. Yeah, I don't care that much. I, I I thought about all the work I could do with the sticker and I was like, I don't care. Well, it was also like 11 o'clock Saturday night and I was, I was like, well, we'll What's figure that? it out. Yeah. Where did you get your mesh, by the way, for the floor and the rear floor? Uh, the Amazon. Oh. <clears throat> scale mesh scale mesh.com <laughs> yeah it's like two millimeter square or something like that gotcha i have to post the link 
that could be very useful for a lot of things. I kind of want to make panels out of it. Like a roof panel. I can see a roof panel. Yeah. Not not sides. Well, the wild thing was a lot of them were oh. open. Like, see, I could see doing, like if you're doing a foot panel with that. Yeah. A lot of them like, like that anyway. The driver could see. The expanded, because uh, I know I looked at a lot of pictures on Instagram, and a lot of them have expanded uh, metal from here down and then all the way across. But like the Marlin crawler, the Marlin crawler, because my bars are like here, right? Okay. That's literally all the panel they have is like a triangle up here and a triangle here. This whole thing is just mesh open. No, it's open. Oh, open? It doesn't even have mesh in it. It was all Better, a lot of them would run like a... What what do real buggies use that are polycarbonate? Yeah, yeah, which is uh, lexane. It's just thicker lexane. But they would have like clear, like just clear sections yeah. through it with stickers. Yeah, like just which is wild that that's realistic. But when I did it, it looked terrible. <laughs> Got to see the rocks. Logan said clear nail fingernail polish might work. Maybe I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll have to see if. <clears throat> the ladies in my house have clear nail polish. I also glued my uh, <clears throat> the top of my propane tank back together. Your, your valve back on? Yeah, yeah, I've got mine in a bag. It's in my uh, leaf spring box. I have an F toy box. So I have I have it been it's been sitting there, but I kind of want to do two of them like that this. Way. See, I like the two running forward and back. But then I'm also thinking, are you really going to run two? Eight pound earth. Not in a comp. Yeah, for a comp. I like this. Well, then you go look for pictures. They have one or two. One. Are they one. normally mounted sideways? One? Yeah. It's usually like this in the back with some straps. That way it's easy to get in and out. Yeah, I also thought about, yeah, just rubber banding it on there. Well, no, I would have a gap. You're going to make a, I need to put a bar graded hose. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it'll be braided, but yeah, so I'll have a hose coming off of it. I also thought about building me up a little muffler. I like it. Just have it right here to just dig it inside the pit bull and when it gets a little crazy. Why? <laughs> I, hope my, I hope my pit bull's never over there. Well, you said out here. No, like like it to like stop like. Mm, okay. I know I've seen people use solder for exhaust systems and stuff, mm -hmm. so I thought about doing that. <clears throat> I mean, how you could use your tube. Could. It's heavy though. If you're if you're not making that seven pound limit, though. yeah, <laughs> I'm already pretty close. <laughs> I'm already only an ounce and a half off, and I don't even have an interior seats yet. So, <clears throat> but I'd also, if we were going to comp, I'd use a much smaller battery too. Uh, have you guys seen Schwarzenegger in the insurance commercial? Piper seen him. And made fun of his accent, so I showed her a video of him in his prime. She's like, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I've seen that. I have. It's not very good. <laughs> like I said, he needs to get the side mirrors for his forerunner and wipers. We may try and jimmy some Phoenix wipers onto it. I don't see why you couldn't. Especially if they're too long, you can always round them off and cut them down. <clears throat> William said remote fuel tank or water slash coolant tank. Ooh, that's what I that's what I need to do is have like my uh, brake booster and stuff. Yeah. Uh, did I not send you one of those? A file for one? I have a file for one. I thought so. Yeah, print two of those. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a couple. Twelve of them for, yeah. for the class. <laughs> Apparently we need all twelve for the class. Yep, how many can fit on that board? A lot. I was say a lot of little tiny brake boosters for sure. I guess we were kind of talking about it back here, but so it'll have the old, I'll have a propane tank there in the back and then. Don't forget the propane accessories. Yeah, it'll have a few propane accessories to go with it. Like it says, every truck needs a fart pipe. Does it says the propane tanks that have the battery disconnects would be neat in those? What? Oh, I, where yeah. the, the thing comes off and that kills the truck? Yep. Yep. I can get down with that. <clears throat> Seven pound. That works, but. Minimum, so it has to be at least seven pounds. Well, that's what we were talking about with like doing an exhaust on it and using the actual like same tubing since it's heavy. Mm -hmm. Because this is not seven pounds, that's gonna take that's gonna take some work to get to seven. 
Mine won't. Mine's so close that by the time I put seats in it, it'll be over. But I also don't know. Well, let's see what it weighs without what, a battery. What were you at? What were you at? 6'4". How's it 614? See, and you still got to put the other floor in. You could... I mean, and I'm skinning the skid. Skinning the skid? Yeah. Really? Like... Yeah, you got... Like plating it? Yeah, you got stock skid. Yeah. See, I, if I went with a 3D printed fish skid... Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, God. What'd you do? Did you put it in communist mode? Maybe. Uh, Canadian? There you go. Russian. Nope, now I'm on a list. <laughs> yeah, six nine with no battery. So you're five ounces heavier than I am. Mm -hmm. That's probably all on the wheels. That's true. And I'm on a twin. A little bit of extra bracing. Yeah, I mean, you know, a couple little tubes. Um, yeah, plus my shock towers are made out of tube instead of just a little tab. I bet the twin does not help at all. That's probably a lot of it. Put those big old uh, rotors on it. Mm hmm Yeah. b rest. <clears throat> What'd you call me? <clears throat> uh, William says someone was talking to him last year about making those. I'm assuming he's talking about the baby boosters. Yeah. Uh, Dustin says, I just shook my head to agree with about the disconnect. Like, <laughs> like you can see me, damn it. Yeah, I know we'll sit like this. Those disconnects are cool. I mean, we'll just take the tires off and... Oh, yeah, that's true. Stupid. Five? Yeah. Not bad. Eric says, have you guys seen the little gas engines on your tour? I seen the guy put a four cylinder one on a crawler. It was sweet. I know a lot of those we rig, we rock rigs, yeah. you have to cover the motor. So yeah, a lot of those get the motor cover in the back. Yeah, they're putting a lot of cool stuff. But it's got to be completely covered. It's not just, it's got to be covered on all three sides. There's different <laughs> points though. Yeah. There's one set of points if you cover just like the top and the two sides, and then there's mm -hmm. another one if you actually have it fully encased. To get yeah, to get full motor coverage yeah. points though, which is like negative sixty or so. it's a big number. It's worth the work for sure. My problem with like the We Rock class is I get to that like to almost to this point of a of a build mm -hmm. and I'm like it's drivable, so yeah. that's pretty yeah. much where she's going <laughs> to live. Just there. <laughs> yeah, I want so to make keep... a dash, and I'm going to try to make a floor, like with the mesh and stuff. Get about where you are, and plus a dash, and I'm going to be about done. <clears throat> yeah. Because I'm... I, my time is not used effectively doing a bunch of styrene work. Because I have... Not limited time, but I do only have so much time I can be in the garage with my kids and all that jazz. Like, I feel better when I build things, like chassis and stuff, more than, like, oh, I got a floor put in this. It took me six hours. Well, <laughs> sounds like you don't really have a choice but to push through and finish it all the way. I mean, I'm going to, but I'm not going to get crazy. Listen, mister, I don't even have side panels on my engine compartment. I don't want to hear from you. I don't plan to. Right. Well, I do. So... You're going to, like, print pictures of... I thought about it. Of <laughs> engine. I did that <clears> in <throat> my... I think my, my old super rig. I had a, the old FJ, the original FJ body. And I took a picture of... It was a picture of a 302 looking down on it. And they had that, that glue that dries mm -hmm. clear. So on the hood, I had a clear 302 looking down on it. It just looked sweet. That was cool back in the day. That was cool back in the day. That was, cool back, that was cool back then. Now it's not worth a damn. Yeah. But I saw one of those videos. Now or, you have to have a real engine in there. I saw one of those bodies that had the stuff glued inside of it on uh, eBay the other day. It was like, you know, vintage mm -hmm. body or whatever the hell. And it had that. It had like anime characters, but they were cut out. 
and he had that big fat white line from the paper and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, it, it just looked so terrible. <laughs> and I was like, man, that thing would have been so sick about 20 years ago. <clears throat> yep. Sorry, Jordan, we were old men reminiscing again. You're good. Rob said he'd like to see a driver and dash, and of course seats, yeah. but not the scale, but not scale motor. Yeah. <coughs> with, with what I've got, I think this is fucking propane take out of here. <clears throat> with the little plates that I made, I should be able to pull all the electronics out of it and put it like underneath the seats, so there would be a battery. Is all you would see. Mm -hmm. In the servo. Yeah, in the servo. <clears throat> but I want to pull like the, the on off switch. Any, I mean. Interesting. <clears throat> what, what are you, what are you, what are you thinking about it? Nothing. Nothing. I don't think anything about it. I know it smells terrible when you cut it. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't really fun to work with. Nope. Uh, nope. It's hard, and it does not cut. It melts, and then it... It actually it cut a lot better than I was expecting. Yeah. Um, but it... It's very odd. It work. sent, like, shit everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's messy. <laughs> yeah. That's why I took mine to work and handed it to my machinist friend. I was like, cut this for me, and then make it flat and square. He was like, okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm going to do <clears throat> another side panel down here, and then I think I'm going to use a decent-sized sheet and skin, like, for a, almost a full flat belly. Oh, the camera? Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's going to be cool. Andre tried selling me a stainless skin for a belly yesterday. I was tempted. You might make seven pounds. Oh, I'd 100%. <laughs> if I drop the plastic skid. <clears throat> I've also thought about doing some transmission flippity-floppity rework, kind of like I was doing before, but I don't know if I'm going to. <clears throat> Dustin said he has 43 cables made to take to beat the creek. Hell yeah. Good deal. That's awesome. That's good, because you'll probably be busy soldering and desoldering for people yeah. all weekend, too. Yeah, Bill's going to find about 400 lights to put on his six. <laughs> like, Can you solder these up for me? I want to see them in the daylight. Mm. I want my six to be like the sun. <clears throat> Some call of the eclipse. I'm not looking forward to that day. I went down to Franklin today. They're already preparing for that, because it's supposed to be like one of the epicenters or whatever. Yeah, and I bet they dropped off literally thirty or more porta potties at that park down by the really? courthouse. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the extended <coughs> forecast? Mm -mm. Cloudy and rainy. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> it's gonna be real dark. Yep. They're showing clouds. <laughs> you uh got into the frame rate a little bit. Yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, a little cuttage. <laughs> yeah. I think I was cutting one of these tubes or tabs or something. <clears throat> That's weight loss, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be too heavy, so i got to thin the frame down yeah. a little bit. Yeah. May give you a little extra flex. I doubt it, but maybe. <laughs> there's a lot chassis, of chassis twists. There's a lot of tie-ins to this thing, so. <clears throat> Eric said, speaking of drivers, Rob, a guy by me has an old Evil Knievel doll figure in, in box. I thought it'd be awesome for a driver and a rig. I have one of those. It's not wants box. 200. Oh, God. Yeah. You can buy them a lot cheaper than that on eBay. Yeah. If you, if you really want an Evil Knievel, get an aftermarket one. <laughs> that too. I have an original one, but it's uh, very rough. It's been in at least two or three scalers before I got it, I think. Cause I bought it in that uh, K5 TFL thing before uh, Ding Dong completely destroyed everything about it. Logan said, can I, can I spray it with glow in the dark on Bill 6 so he doesn't need lights? Just so we can see it. I think he just likes the lights, personally. <coughs> how, can I more, how can I put more wires on this? Yeah. Thing? How can I make it weigh even more than it does? Rob said, damn, that's cool, but pricey. Yeah. So. I like my speed racer and my Jeep. Or my Yoda. So one of our favorite things about these, by the way, is uh, 
what are they? <clears throat> what was this saying about Vanquish? It's cooler to run them than they are looking on the shelves or something like that. Um, and that what those those guys that don't mm -hmm. like putting wheels on the pegboard say. So we took our BCAs and uh, drug them against everything. Thoroughly broke them in. <laughs> yeah, they're broken in. They're getting high clearance now, actually. I did notice that the rear axle hung up less as the day went on. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's knocking it's all the burrs off of it and stuff, you know? Yeah, it's getting <clears throat> a rounded lip. Yeah. Yours more so. Yeah. He's still got a, like, kind of a good edge. Well, he had a lot more tire than I did, you know? Where are you doing? My contact flipped. Oh. Wait, how? Were you looking at In your side? eye? Yeah. Ouch. I've been wearing contacts for a long time, and I've never had that happen. Uh, <laughs> Al says you should get Hank Hill to go with the propane. <laughs> I kind of look and see Dude, that's... a fat Hank Hill just sitting in there. That'd be sweet. Yeah. I really want the, the driver that the all the We Rock guys are getting the like. Oh, I found those. Yeah, I've got them saved on Amazon. Yeah, me too. I don't want to spend the 20 whatever yeah, dollars it is for the, for the doll and then... Another thirty dollars on clothing. Yeah, really. Yeah, they're yeah. expensive. Are they just really articulated? They're models for uh, artists. So uh, like, if you were gonna paint or draw or do clay or whatever, mm -hmm. they literally they have like a um, like a skeleton, and they have like a skin over them, so you can bend them around, and they don't have joints like GI Joe's. Really? And stuff. Yeah, they're yeah. really nice looking, but they are probably not easy to make, and they make you pay for it for sure. <clears throat> Yeah, the like the mannequin basically, basically is, yeah. is like twenty eight dollars, mm -hmm. and then you got to put shoes on him. Yeah, you have to buy all the clothes. He's naked. So like, you get a racing suit. Ugh. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I mean, you're no. I'm just gonna put regular clothes on. But I like. Yeah, I was just gonna put like, like the jeans and a fire, fire suit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm, no. no I mean, if I look up fire suit, it's gonna. It's gonna be him on the uh, like. In Ooh, fire. that's they, that's what we need. <laughs> fire extinguishers. <clears throat> ah, we do safety they, equipment. <clears throat> are they the same as like Barbie? No, because Barbie had a fire suit. Because they're they're that small. This size. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they're they're a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. bigger. I think they're a seven inch figure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Versus Star Trek over here is yeah. six. But to save weight, mine will probably be naked. <laughs> Don't drive naked, damn it. Yeah, really. Don't drive naked. <laughs> uh, called across it as an Evil Knievel in his Patriot build. It's a 10-3 Axial Bronco. It's awesome. It's his image pick. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things you could do to these. <clears throat> I did my uh, anti rap bar a little differently than we did. But I don't know if that helped or not. I guess. Yeah, my leaves aren't bent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you went full send as much as he did. But see, I made. Well, mine. I did, but <laughs> the RPM range was a little oh, different. Yeah. yeah. See, I made mine though to where it's extended real far forward, so when it tries to kick it forward, it maxes out that shackle and stops. Where yours can swing, can't it? Can yours swing more? Yeah, mine's. Dead center. Yeah. Of down. Right. See, my, my theory made more sense to me in my head. I don't know if it was better, but I'm saying <laughs> it made more sense to me in my head. In my head, that looks like that binds. It doesn't. It swings back. But if it tries to kick forward, it'll... Let's see. Let's see, like when yours... If yours does... It doesn't do that either. So see, we're both right. <laughs> <clears throat> what time is it? Uh, about bedtime. It's nine thirty-eight. Uh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Eric said, "But blind guy beats us with the with Bluey family." Mm-hmm. I watched some Bluey today. Good time. Called across that he recently bought one of those little Amazon posable figures. Now he needs to find a little lady that makes clothing. So I found <laughs> some on, or on eBay. Um, it's like one twelfth, I think. 
scale mm-hmm. or something like that. Um, they're just not cheap. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm sure they're a bitch to make, so I I understand it, but it just I don't know. I understand sounds, it. I just don't like it. It sounds so <laughs> stupid to be like, yeah, we have X amount of dollars in all these trucks, but I don't want to put a thirty dollar figure in it. But you're not putting a thirty dollar figure in it. You're going to put a seventy dollar figure. I, in I know it. that. <laughs> right. To be like. Well, when I take my picture, the, there's actually somebody driving it, not just an empty seat. I know that. I'm Asinine. Aware. I'm aware. <laughs> <clears throat> you just say the guy got out for the picture. I mean, he's who's taking the picture? Well, that's right. what I said yesterday. <laughs> right. I was like, it's just at low, low range, so he's out walking next to me. <laughs> yeah, I just I don't know. Eric said, actually, Matt trumped us all with with the Barbie Jeep. Barbie uh, yeah. Explorer. Barbie Explorer. I hope that thing's doing well out there somewhere floating around the world. That's probably not. That's probably not, no. <laughs> no. But that thing was a blast. Yeah, because you were not easy on that one either. No, I beat the dog <laughs> shit out of that thing. Rob said realism when it's running. Yeah. No, I get it. I mean... 100%. 100%. And I promise I will take the funds from one of the F-Toys I build <laughs> and I'll buy my damn drivers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Problem is I need like five of them. I need a lot of them. Drivers are something that I just never get around to. I have the one. Yeah. I thought about doing that of just taking a driver and just making sure it fits in like everything and then just whatever I drive for the day. Um... You guys should go up to Gumby. No, I think I'm gonna use Gumby. The uh, flea market. Faraday Toys. Faraday Toys. Mm-hmm. Where's that at? Um, next to the Dollar General, like next to the uh, Greenwood Library. You know where the Dollar General is across the street from the library. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right next to that, in the same strip mall, there is now called Faraday Toys. It used to be a skateboard shop for a real short period, but they have a bunch of figures. Wait. Oh, by the Suds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Top of the hill. Top of the hill. Right. And this right next to the by the Napa. Right. Above the Napa. Yeah. Above, above the Napa. It's above the Napa it's store. Like second story? Yeah. Because right. second story is Dollar General. <clears throat> and next to that is Faraday Toys. Did not know that. Yeah. The bottom's Napa and Monkey Pizza. Monkey Pizza? Yakimos. Ah. I don't, I don't want it. I don't eat there. After they did what they did to the suds, I literally have never gone back. I I don't hold a grudge for too long. Right, right. No. no. (laughs) After 20 years, I'll let it go. Call across it. What can I say? I'm a little dollhouse. Like I say, go to the the thrift shop for clothes. Cut to fit. Uh, Making your own? That's more work. No, thanks. Just it's hard enough for me to cut up a shirt and make a seat cover, and it doesn't even have to look good. Yeah. No way would I use. What? No, no way. way. <clears throat> yeah. So, although I struggle to buy a thirteen dollar tiny t shirt, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like spending that much on my own shirts. Yeah, I rarely do. <laughs> Unless they're really cool. I think Scale realism is stupid. Twenty dollars is usually my limit unless I'm at a concert and I really like the band. Then I'll buy some shirts, but then I just then they just sit in my closet and I don't even wear them. I'm just like, yep, sure did pay. Yep, went there. Sure did pay for that sixty dollar t shirt that I never wear. Dustin said he needs to find an amazing breakfast place on the north side of Indy for Saturday morning. Uh, there's all sorts of places up there. Um, uh, there's yeah, my dad goes to a place. Uh, what the shit is that place called? I don't remember. Ask my dad. Do you guys are friends on Facebook? Ask him where the hell that. Speaking of which, is. what the hell is he doing? I, I haven't seen him in. I saw him earlier. He's oh. old. He probably fell asleep. Dude, another Kalachi factory. Have you had a Kalachi? Oh, excuse me. It's called the Kalachi factory. It's basically. That sounds like an STD. Dude, it's basically it's a roll, and it has. Like you can get ham, turkey and cheese, you can bacon, egg and cheese, stuffed in the side. Stuffed, yeah. You've had them? Yeah. Oh, they're delicious. Where, what what uh, atomicity is that supposed to be? I don't know. Or what is it? Or whatever. Delicious. Kawashi. Um, so that literally sounds like something. They like are. A I don't even know where they're at. Or a stripper. 
I used to get them when I was at separators. When the slump was cinnamon. They gotta be up Because people would get them and bring them into my work on the east side. So they're probably somewhere like fishers coming down okay. to us. I can see that. Yeah. Because they they would get them and bring them to us, and then they would be like kind of sort of warm. And I don't know how you guys feel about <laughs> kind of sort of warm eggs. Not a fan. No, I'll eat anything cold on here. Zionsville. What okay. if I like cold, hard boiled eggs? Sounds like the same thing. So you get them from the gas station? No, I make them. I store them in the fridge. I eat like four of them a day. Okay. <clears throat> Go to the Walmart. Well, that's not that's not cold scrambled eggs. I like cold scrambled eggs too. I like it when they firm up and then they get to like chunks. And then I can just shovel them all in my face. You cut them into like a quarters. There's a weird temperature range of where that where they're gross. I like I don't know <laughs> I because don't. everything you've described will eat. <laughs> okay, but. <laughs> Gotcha. For whatever reason, so above room temperature but below uh, acceptable coming out of a restaurant. Yeah. Mm, okay. I like it. I don't know. It just maybe they're just not good. Maybe I just don't actually like them. <laughs> no, <same. laughs> maybe it just tastes like shit. Dust said I can't spell them, but what Doug is talking about are amazing. Yeah, they are. Uh, K A L A C H E. Kalachi. Kalachi. Or C. I, I think it starts with a K. Kalachi. But I could be wrong. Unless I've been wrong once before. Unless it's like some sort of one of those languages that does the <laughs> thing. It's a Kalachi. <laughs> I don't know. Like a, but yes, they are good. <clears throat> Rob said he's got a couple of killer body drivers. Have a helmet, have to paint them, but they are cheap. I didn't think anything from Killer Body would be cheap, but no. I'll have to look into that. I know that. See, that's the other thing. I don't want. I don't want to have to be painting them. I like that part. Yeah, I'd rather just buy a figure that's already done. Like, yep, that looks close enough to an off-roader guy. <laughs> the guy over here in his turtleneck. <laughs> turtleneck sweater. He's cold. He's, he's cold. It's, he needed it on Sunday. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, it's fall. It's fall <coughs> runs. Fellas, ready? It's past that time. Yep, I think I'm done too. I'm getting tired. Yep. <clears throat> Rob said he thinks they were like ten bucks. Wow. I'm about to check them out. I'll say I'll buy a whole twelve pack of them then. You have them guys in a twelve pack. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a bulk discount? Yeah. The baker's dozen. You ever thought about letting me be a distributor of Killer Body guys? Just the guys. Just the guys. <laughs> just the guys. <laughs> I'll sell I, the shit out of some guys. I just want to sell your guys. Yeah. I don't, I don't Bill know. said mornings on 86. That's it. That's where he went. I knew it was something. Like a real simple plates or mornings or afternoons. Breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> Breakfast. All right. Take it easy, Dustin. See you guys later. Good night. Uh, we will report back on the F toy class. Yep. Let us uh, chat about that and see exactly what we could do. We'll have to do some material calculations and. I can get the chassis even if at a discount. I don't know what we could do, but I'm sure it's probably pretty close. Yeah, we'll discuss it. See how much. Some Logan movie. said, "Thanks, guys. Love you. Bye." <laughs> all right, that is all. We shall see you all next week, and uh, make sure to check out YouTube tomorrow for my new video. That's a video. Video. Hit that like button on your way out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you listen to Outlaw. Video. Video? Video. You ever seen that guy? He, made, he got famous for uh, doing chew videos. He'd try chew, and then he was like, he'd buy like seven cans of chew and put them all in his mouth at the same time. Gross. He was interesting. I think he got put off of YouTube for tobacco use or I don't know, something like <laughs> that. Wonder why. <laughs> right? Right, I didn't have the gums left. Okay. Bye, everybody. <coughs> Bye.